Today's episode of the Nate Land Podcast is brought to you by Rocket Money, Electric E-Bikes, ZocDoc, and Butcher Box. Hello, folks, and hey, Bear. Welcome to the Nate Land Podcast. I'm Nate Borgetti, Brian Bates, right. Aaron Weber, Dusty Slay. Boom. Ooh, I switched uh, it up. Uh, yeah. Brian stole my thing. What? All right. Oh, all right. oh he's doing it. Yeah. yeah. For months. Yeah. Yeah. He stole my thing. Do it in all the road. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Buy some time. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, a couple seconds here and there. <laughs> Stretch it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do it throughout my set. <laughs> That's right. like you ever write you ever when you you know when you come up with a new joke and you're like oh, I needed some time and it's thirty seconds uh-huh. Uh-huh. and it's just so <laughs> it can be so frustrating you're just you know your head like I think I don't know if everybody think wonders this but in your head you think you're like I'll just build it five minute chunks at yeah. a time I was like this is like I'm gonna come up with four jokes and it'd be <laughs> and then you do it and it's 30 it might be 20 seconds yeah 20 yeah. seconds is a long time when you tell a joke uh-huh. 20 yeah. 30 seconds build in the laughter and then it's not there and I'm like <laughs> yeah Damn. it's a yeah. lot quicker than I thought well then that truly can you can have a thing that you think is a minute and if the yeah. crowd's not great I mean it can become 35 30 real uh-huh. fast because uh-huh. it, it's like well what does it take you to say those words and just uh, however long that sentence is <laughs> is how long <laughs> the because mm-hmm. there's nothing to it. I hate when you have a like an opening local reference that's really hot, and mm-hmm. you're able to do that all weekend, and then you're like, "How could I recreate this yeah. to be in my set all the time?" But yeah. it never works again. But yeah. you're like, "This was so good. Yeah. It's better it's than rare. the opener." Yeah, it's rare for it to work. I had, we had that dead horse thing is the only thing that I had, but that wasn't even really a local thing. I was, I was look, I was saying I was going to that mountain. But it was like, it was kind of like it destroyed. I had a little bit more stuff that was local that I, that, that did fall to this wayside. Mm-hmm. Cape Fear Serpentarian. And if you don't know what it is, you'll be hearing it this weekend when I'm at Tacoma Comedy Club. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when he tells them, when he does the tour of Nate <laughs> on stage. Because yeah. right here is where. <laughs> I remember what they were. Yeah. You talked about. Oh, the homeless people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The homeless people. They get, because Tacoma Comedy Club is, it's all straight up. It's a hill. So the club's at the top, the hotel's at the bottom. Yeah. All right. Think, and so you have to like go up this hill. And I was like, they have a lot of homeless people. And I was like, maybe it's not homeless people. It's just people that are tired. And they go, they go up one thing of the hill. And then every street's like a new hill. And they just go, well, I'm going to live here now. Yeah. Until, <laughs> and it murdered. Yeah, you can do that. That's- yeah. I'm not even at that downtown club. They have two clubs now. Oh, really? So I'm at the the cool one. Yeah, and they're very. That was uh, Tacoma or Spokane? No, Tacoma. Tacoma. Yeah, Tacoma. Spokane's the other. Yeah, it's very confusing. I don't think the two clubs are far from each other, and they're both <laughs> called the Spokane Com- or the Tacoma, 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 Tacoma Comedy, Com- Com- Comedy Club. Mm-hmm. Great comedy club, though. Yeah, mm-hmm. it is good. The Shield didn't start off as a, a local yeah. A local riff. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Shields was the local riff yeah. of that because I had to go in. Shields was uh, in. Uh, I had to go buy clothes because my clothes did not make it on the plane or something. And I landed and basically had to go to the show. So, and I had like, you know, golf stuff on. Mm-hmm. So I went and bought stuff and I went to Shields to get shoes. And uh, you went to where? Shields. Shields? Yeah. yeah. What's that? It's a sporting goods store. Yeah. You ever seen Nate's comedy? Yeah, I opened yeah. with it. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't I don't it. think he's literally the it. first joke, joke of his new special. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I did watch the new special, but I watched it at a friend's house. It's a bit house. about yeah. the guns. Yeah, they give you yeah. access yeah, to guns. guns. Right up an escalator. Mm-hmm. But it's what a, very much you would have a bit about this <laughs> if you went into You should go to Shields. Yeah. Where is Shields? They're they're in like the Midwest. Yeah. It's like, like a shield? S-C-H-E-E-L-S. Apostrophe S. And I mean, some of them will have like a Ferris wheel in the middle of them. And it's un, it's an unbelievable It's like a store. Dick Sporting Goods on steroids. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, time. they have <laughs> hunting. <laughs> they have anything you could ever dream. Uh-huh. Yeah. You could go in there. You And people go in there just to walk around. Like if you're near, near one, if you're on the road <laughs> and there's a Shields, yeah. just go. You can waste two hours, three hours in just the Shields. It's okay. like a Bucky's, <laughs> but, sp- you know, that same idea. 
when you first hear about a Bucky's and you don't know, and then you go and you're like, okay, Shields is like that where you're, okay. you're like, yeah, it's like a Dick's. And then you're like, is it? And then you go there and it's <laughs> yeah, something yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. But it's fun. I love that you said, well, I'll watch a special at a friend's house. <laughs> well, he, I, he wanted to see it. I wouldn't really no, pay he attention. Just, he was talking to me, so I didn't I, miss I, some I, stuff. I think I would I would <laughs> the have. The first joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello, folks. Boring. <laughs> yeah. Well, he, my, it's my neighbor. He's my buddy. But he he, he, he loves drinking, and uh-huh. he'll, he'll just, you know, we'll be watching, and then he'll just start talking about something, and and then we'll have to, yeah. have to really be like, all right, well, let's, you know, let's get back in. I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if you – didn't know the three of us did comedy. <laughs> well, if you know, I've done you know a lot of shows with them. That's how only That's reason. The only reason. Yeah. yeah, he's not in the building when we're on stage, but he'll yeah. he'll come in. But did you think about people falling asleep? I was driving this weekend. I had two comics with me. Eight hour drive. Ten minutes in, they're both asleep. Mm, wow, the whole time. So, mm. so I put on a podcast I've been wanting to listen to, and Mandel, who did the Nate Land Showcase, is my buddy. Uh, he's in the front seat. He's asleep. He wakes up. He goes, "Oh, I've been wanting to listen to this new podcast." I go, "All right, if it'll keep you up, yeah, I'll put on a different podcast." So I switch podcasts. He falls asleep immediately. Yeah, but now I'm hooked on this new podcast. He wakes up later. He goes, "I want to listen to, to some." And I go, you can't keep, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'm stuck on this one now. Yeah. Okay, we're you know? doing this one. Let's have some car etiquette. Yeah, here. stay young, awake. Dude. Yeah, young comics when you're, they're like homeless people. They just sleep anywhere and everywhere. They uh-huh. eat anything and everything. Yep, yep. It's just you're, yeah. They're they're tough to be around. Mm-hmm. Do you drive the whole way? I drove the whole way. But when yeah. you're around them, it's also great. Yeah, it's a but lot of fun. It's, yeah. it's a lot of fun. But you got to get, you got to get, you got to sit through a lot. But like I made fun of him for that all weekend. Yeah, you can't fall asleep. And, you know, anyway. that's not the most exciting drive either. From here to Northwest Arkansas. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. Arkansas is very pretty, but it's like that's all it's got going. There but ain't nothing to look at. You got to work to get to the pretty part, yeah. though. You yeah. got to put in some miles first. Anyway, mm. there right. we go. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that like that, that really killed the podcast. I'm sorry, guys. How about fell asleep? <laughs> Sucked the energy out of the I room. I wish you would fall asleep <laughs> so we could have a good podcast. We can switch. There's, yeah. there's no D in shields. It's like it's like shield, shields, but instead of a, the D, it's an extra L. It's S C H E E L apostrophe yeah. S. It's like if heels was using a bad alias, like shields. You okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Does that make Why sense? Why have I never seen that? Because I it's don't know. because it's regional. Yeah. But you've been on the road, I would think. <laughs> yeah. So I think you would see it. Maybe I just didn't know what it You're was. You're the clientele. So I like, I'm, I'm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shields. I'm shocked that you haven't seen it. Yeah. I can't wait to. be to, honest. I can't wait they to go They probably sell now. your yeah. album there. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Go yeah. check it out. All right. You're going to walk in. The man, All the mannequins look like you. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who's been hiding this info from me. It's been right there. If you cared and listened to anything. Uh... <laughs> I listened to your nonsense the other day, so <laughs> it's special. All right, I appreciate that. Had to go watch that. It's All nonsense. Right. I got through it. I appreciate that. Look at that. The whole thing. Some of it <laughs> with a friend. No, I did. No, no, I did it alone. All right. I uh, that. No, I watched it. Yeah, uh, it's great. It's great. I, I I've been watching a little more comedy now. Yeah. I kind of sit and watch it. I, like I kind of you know I'll go through specials and just kind of want to see what. I just want to kind of see what people are doing, and, mm-hmm. you know. See what it looks like. Yeah, see yeah. See how it feels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More than I ever have. All right. We had uh, we had a good spring break. I was, we stayed home. And we were. This weekend? Yeah, this week's spring break. Slacking off. So a lot of, you yeah. know, people go somewhere, but we stayed here and uh, we did a lot of stuff. Could have been working, though. Harper was busy. Could have been working. Mm. I took the time off. I asked for this off. I could work. <laughs> Yeah, what, yeah, to be fair, I don't think anybody is like, oh, is Nate not, not able to fill the <laughs> yeah. calendar? Wow. Hang in there, buddy. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I can put in a good word for you a couple of places <laughs> yeah. if you want. I'll be in Vegas this week in the Boston Garden. So, uh, <laughs> Okay. So. Uh, <laughs> so you got to sit on You don't want to burn up all your come possible to, ticket look, sales. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love you to come out to one of the two shows at the Boston Garden this week. <laughs> no, I'm joking. There is two shows, but I, I just said that. I don't. I don't think. Yeah. Yeah. I say that with humility. <laughs> yeah. But 
Larry well, Bird can sort that place out by himself, you know. <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> just make it work with humility. That's with humility. I hope Larry I like Bird's say, not listening. That's yeah. all I'm saying. I just want to say, I don't he'll think show up. Kevin McHale would be. He couldn't do the stuff that I'm about to do this weekend at the Boston Garden. <laughs> and then he goes, <laughs> with all with humility, all due respect, all due respect. Well, with humility, I was in Columbia, Tennessee mm. this weekend. I didn't I didn't know you worked the road. <laughs> <laughs> 30 minutes out here. I'm the I-65 comic, baby. All right. <laughs> we, well, first we had a birthday party for my daughter. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. And mm. then I hit the road yeah. to Columbia, yeah. Tennessee at the Mule House with Heather Land and... Landon Bright. I think it's good Bright. that you get to tell your daughter you will be home tonight, though. <laughs> After on all your road gigs. <laughs> I'll be home before you go to bed. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a good thing yeah. to yeah. get to sleep in your own bed. And Show's good. Child. The show was good, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fun. I think you said show's plural. Oh. Maybe I did. I don't know. I just wanted you to know. It was just one I show. I was in Columbia last weekend. My buddy really? Kenny. Yeah. How about that? He lives out there. I could have got you a guest set. <laughs> yeah. They do a show weekly? No. No. It really doesn't make sense. Not last, not when you were there. I, maybe. <laughs> was I there when you were there? Maybe. I, no, I don't know. I don't know. No, mine no. might have been like a couple weeks <clears throat> ago. I called you on the way home from there. Yeah, yeah. It was a couple weeks ago. You home. got that kind of power, though, to get him a guest spot? Probably not. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> make a few phone calls. <laughs> See what happens. Yeah. I was in Northwest Arkansas at the Grove Comedy Club. Got a lot of requests. <laughs> My plant joke, dude. People kept coming up All asking right. me, yeah. upset that I didn't do the were joke. Were they yelling it out? From they the weren't audience? yelling it out. They were respectful about it. They, they got to do it. They would say yeah. it afterwards. Uh, so would I, you tell? I got a little more confidence. You could sell in that it as now. merch. Plants. Put the whole no, plant, plant joke. joke. Put the whole thing on the back. I'm of the saying shirt. you go tell it if yeah. you want to hear it, guys. I got a plant joke. If you want to hear it, five dollars. <laughs> I'll tell you in the corner. Yeah, and then you get a group. And then you get a group of like, well, like, I mean, I think the whole place might be like, I mean, what, what if they, the whole place might be like, what if we all give you five dollars? You just stay here and you go. I'm shocked you didn't deal. do the plant joke though this weekend. Like after being on the podcast, I'm shocked you didn't do it. Well, enough people are asking me about it after. I was like, I'll just save it, and then people will talk to me about it afterwards. Yeah, you know? okay. and yeah, it's not they, that good of a joke. They're coming to see it though. Mm -hmm. But if you keep doing it, it will get yeah. better. Okay. You'll okay. find the. If you want me to tell it, yell it out, and I'll, you know, and well, I'll, I'll finish it. Yeah, you know, what? Find a spot to say, yell it at the beginning when you walk out, <clears throat> yeah. or intermittently okay. every thirty seconds or so throughout the show until I do it. <laughs> <laughs> at this point, I can afford to go yell it out whenever yeah, you want, and, please, I'll, and I'll tell yeah. it. Yeah, that means someone. I hope there. to God this becomes yeah. a problem. <laughs> I hope someone's there to yell it. You know? Yeah, to go <laughs> yell it out. Y'all want me here to the plant joke? We don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> mm. All right. So I had a yeah. comic with me this weekend, John DeToy, who you guys know. Yeah. A local guy. Yeah. He, he hosted the shows. I thought that was going to be he, a woman. He's very funny. John DeToy. You thought John would be a woman? John John Da. Oh, did I say? Oh, John Da. Yeah. Toy. John da oh, Toy. that's hilarious. Like Jeff John Toy's da. sister. Yeah. Wow. John DeToy. Okay. John. Yeah. Last Take a little da time. DeToy. Oh, okay. Yeah. So he he's a very funny comic. Came with me. He also does oh, yeah, I know a little John bit of yo-yo. John de Tor So he does a little bit yeah. of a yo-yo in his act. That and looks like me in the it with nunchucks. <laughs> and he, he would talk about it. In his, <laughs> he would talk about it on stage, and he would say, "You know, I, I used to be a professional yo-yo player," and it would get like tepid applause. But what John would not say is he's he was literally the number one yo-yoist. <laughs> in the world. This is a former number one yo-yo, competitive yo-yo artist in the world. He retired, and then last year, he was like, I want to get back in it. He trained for a little bit, and now he's the defending number two yo-yo artist. I don't know what the word I'm is. Thinking, what do you start at? Three? <laughs> 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 the stuff he can do with that i mean it, it's incredible to watch man i know John. Yeah. i'm joking <laughs> i know I'm it's joking. so funny though yeah, yeah. anyway yeah, it's just a fun real. little special treat i was saying on stage i was like even if i stink you saw the number one yo-yo yeah person in the world well and he could come back on that's an act that you could bring back out if i'm bombing if yeah, you're john, bombing come you on go, out john, here, dude john john <laughs> 
and walk the dog out. <laughs> he here. comes yeah. out without, without his yo-yo. Like, no, bring the yo-yo. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. <clears throat> He's funny too. I, I mean, knew he did, he did really this. Well. And I've never seen it. And uh, yeah, that's crazy. It almost seems like the last name is made up, though, that he's a yo-yo guy like John DeToy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? DeToy. Oh, yeah. He's got toy in that's his name. Good. Yeah, he's yeah. DeToy. That is a good name. John, John DeToy, DeToy. Narum. And he put on a show. I mean, that's, yeah. Even After the, the show, we were doing, hanging out at the, the brewery. Yeah. The owner of the club owns a brewery next door. Uh -huh. So everyone always goes over there and they're like, Let's see some more yo-yo tricks, dude. Yeah. He was just putting on. I mean, it's yeah. unbelievable. Let's get that yeah. plant joke and some yo-yo tricks over here at the brewery. I know. I mean, yeah. that's a workout. Well, to even know, <laughs> yeah, to even know what you're doing. Like, it's, I can't even make it go up, back up, really. It right. goes down, and then I have a pretty hard time to get it he's back He's doing up. them with one on each hand. Yeah. And he's doing all kinds of stuff. There are a couple tricks where the string comes off the finger. It's completely gone from his hand. Oh, really? And then he'll like catch it and then put it back on somehow. I it's bet, amazing. I bet you get hit in the face a lot with a yo yo, though. <laughs> like practicing. How did he get into this? He's, I don't know. You know, everybody has one as a kid. You, you try it out once and yeah. you, you just keep going. You with just it. kept going. He told me when he did, the best. he did NACA for a while, putting on these, these shows, and mm -hmm. he would do a trick during a show where he would put a quarter on somebody's ear and then like knock it off with a yo-yo. <laughs> I can do that. So, you could do that. Yeah, might hit him. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> There's gonna be some collateral damage, yeah. Yeah. but that that quarter will be gone. It seems like he does. He just didn't touch the quarter, <laughs> but he hit the man yeah. in the head. Yeah, and that guy moved. That seems brutal to do that in front of college students, though. Go to NACA to do yo-yo stuff. He's number one in the world. Number one yeah. in the world. But you still gotta. I think when you're number one in the world, people still are like, "That's number one in the world." Like you're right. No matter what, no matter what someone is, if 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 you meet anybody, no one, as a someone that has to meet a lot of people like this, because of my dad, <laughs> oh, my dad, sure, I mean, sure. just there's a lot of like my dad. I'll meet someone. It's like this guy, you know, is the number one in the world to do this, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. this, so there is, but it's to so it's get no to deal. that level. Yeah, I'd like to see a Mortal Kombat where John DeToy is like a special character <laughs> that comes on and just fights with the yo-yo. <laughs> you know, like oh, you got yeah. you unlock that character, John DeToy, finish him. <laughs> and he just yo-yos him. Anyway, it was it was fun to it was fun to have him around. You guys know that game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're he free. hosted. It was all right, we gave that what it got. <laughs> he hosted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was host. Yeah, you look like what you look like a. You need to get a beard trim. You need to. You look yeah, like, I got to clean up a little bit. Yeah, you look you know, like a mess. I'm in Vegas right next week. I'll clean up before that. Yeah. 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 You guys are in Vegas at the same time? No, he's a week no, before. Okay. Thank, Thank God for him, right? Watch, yeah, uh, yeah. watch last week's podcast. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Check it out. We have a podcast together. <laughs> podcast together. <laughs> uh, <laughs> check it out. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> we like covered that in depth. <laughs> Uh, it's a was long, here we do week. a long podcast all, us all, four all, all oh. four of us yeah uh, oh yeah <laughs> you don't remember it either anyway thank you to everybody who came out in Arkansas it's a fun fun right. weekend okay what was it last week there was another profession that uh, obscure and you were like kind of making, making fun of like the same thing like if you're in the top three I can't remember what it was now I'm not right. making fun I'm not making fun of you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna see him tonight alright hey, I'm, I'm not making fun of that I, I, there was I didn't know what to do. The joke was there. I know. Right. Of course. If I had other comedians around the table, they sure they would have said it. But I'm alone, so I'm the one that got to put it out. We did a. Oh, I'd like to tell you guys. I went to Hartford, Connecticut, and I met oh, uh, wow. JC uh, Lee Polford for, that does Batesville. She came yeah. to my show. Nice. Very yeah, nice. She's oh, great. Yeah. She's great. Yeah. I didn't get to. You know, I didn't work with the number one yo-yo guy in the world, but I did. You know, I did. Did he uh, shows host? Too. He was the host. Yeah. Wow. That's so he goes up and does his too. act and then says, I do this also. New York City. <laughs> yeah. We're coming back to it, Dustin. What'd you say? Coming back. Oh, you went to New York City? Yeah, I did, you know, I did some things too. Uh, and, uh, really? you right. know. What'd you were, say? You were on I'm the just, bonfire. Yeah, we are having a good hey. time out here. Crackle, crackle. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was on the bonfire and a uh, guy commented on uh, Twitter with a picture. And he goes, that guy was mad boring. And uh, <laughs> so I guess I am, you know, I am pretty boring next to Big J and Robert Kelly, like, you know, they're talking about some pretty wild stuff. And I'm mm. like, well, I'm not doing, I'm not doing any of that, but. Uh, yeah. Well, they're out there. We had a good time. Did they, you and Robert share the story about when y'all worked together? No. We did talk about working together. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. 
They're it's they're doing good. They're Soder uh Soder's doing great and they're doing Bobby and uh Jay. Yeah, it was great. Doing great. Yeah. yeah. What did you do? Spots in New York? No, I just went I did that and I did like uh bar stool sports. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then uh uh, yeah, and then I went to Hartford, Connecticut, did the funny Oh, one. you just came in for like one. Yeah, I just did two days there, hung out, mainly went around the city and smoked some cigars with my buddies. And uh, it was a lot you of fun. You didn't go to any clubs or anything? Oh, no. I was, I'm there for the hang. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I don't know. I, you know, it's like I go to the club, I do three hours of comedy. I have a great time, a little over, you know, I do a little over an hour a show. And, uh, but it's like, if I get a spot, you know, I don't know, I'm doing, you know, five or 10 minutes and then I got, yeah. then I got to watch a lot of comedy. <coughs> and, uh, so, yeah. uh, hmm. all right. But I just did some podcasts. That's good. Yeah. No, I get it. I, KFC I get it. radio. Really so, yeah. Good. KFC radio. Yes, and then some other thing. Yeah. Yeah. Might be a good time. To tell us about rocket money. I think it's the perfect time. Personally, I've always struggled with finding time to manage my finances. At the end of a busy week being on the road, the last thing I want to do is spend time budgeting. All of my expenses are tracking down customer service teams to cancel old subscriptions. I use Rocket Money. It's a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills so you can grow your savings. You'll see all your subscriptions in one place, and if it's something you don't want, tap it. They cancel it for you. They have over 5 million users and have saved a total of $500 million in canceled subscriptions, saving members up to $740 a year when using all the app's features. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash Nate. That is rocketmoney.com slash Nate. Come closer. Rocketmoney.com slash Nate. Is that the Instagram guy? What's that? The guy that goes, come closer. I don't like that guy, though. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I wasn't thinking of it. The guy in the bathroom mirror. Yeah. Yeah, come closer. Yeah. That's, yeah. yeah I was doing some form of that. Yeah. yeah. What's he do? <laughs> I don't know. Is he sharing, like, like nose tremors? No, he does, like... I, I, He's just the, doing videos. Just, like, videos rants about stuff. He just does stuff. it, like, in his bathroom, and then he'll go, come here. And he, and then he when he says, come here, the camera zooms in. Mm. I, but I like it. It's a good it. I mean, it's, it's a, a video. Good, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like the first time I saw it, like, it was, you know, great. He tells, like, he, but he has good, like, fast food secrets or, I don't know, you know, but it's, yeah, it's on a thing. It's fun. He's fun. But, yeah. Uh, try to get him before Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> so now Aaron's that guy's doing put, that That thing. guy's put together. Yeah. This, <laughs> this mess comes from Arkansas. Like, he was out in a deer stand all week. Yeah. <laughs> he goes... <laughs> Went out to Shields. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the, where'd you spend the night outside? Where's the green bird? I think Aaron looks good. Huh? What's wrong with Aaron? He looks good. Oh, he looks fine. I mean, if he looks, look, he's got a camo. <laughs> you don't think he looks like a deer? St- it doesn't. I'm not crazy <laughs> by going, you look like no, you no, from no, a deer. No, no, no. It makes sense. It makes sense. That's not far off. But I think if you were just listening, mm-hmm. They you wouldn't know. have known. You they, sound very good. Oh, you thanks. sound normal. That, yeah, that's what it's all about. Yeah, but the people that watch Aaron Land. <laughs> well, that's true. Aaron Land, I mean, he's got his own show. <laughs> so Aaron Land's going to be, they're like, our boy. What happened to our <laughs> boy happening? this week? <laughs> he goes, he goes, Arkansas's taking him. <laughs> so Alabama goes to Arkansas. <laughs> all right. Uh, your comment. Sandy Kelps. Sandy Kelps. That's a good name. That sounds like some Sandy aquatic Kelps. stuff. Oh, yeah. Totally aquatic. Sandy Kelps. Yeah, totally. Kelps. A lot of sand in it. Oh, okay. A lot of sand in that kelp. Uh, I really liked Dusty's idea of going through the song, I've Been Everywhere. Yeah. Thank it you, would have been cool if any of you guys would have shared a memory from some of those places to make that bit work better. Dang, Sandy oh, gets this Sandy's yeah. bur- This is Dusty's burner account <laughs> yeah. here. And it sounds like a burner account name, <laughs> Sandy <laughs> Kelps. Uh <laughs> The hardest part, that's the name you stay in the hotels under. Like, <laughs> ask for Sandy Kelps. The hardest part of listening was hearing you mention a city and then not knowing where it was located. Winslow, for example, is a big part of the Eagle song, Take It Easy. It was hard because I was yelling into my phone at you guys, but of course you couldn't hear me. Well, I you are right about that, one, Winslow, but it's like when you're just reading a list of songs, you don't necessarily think about it. I love that song, Take It Easy, and I know that line, but... I didn't think about it when we were doing it, but I was also, you know, defending my overall idea. So it was hard to focus mm-hmm. on the city names. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, I kind of loved it. I felt bad for you because that's me every week. Yeah. Going out something and get shot down. Well, it's like you, yeah, we got to ask you to bring an idea and it felt like you thought about it. You remembered it the second you got out of your truck but, and walked inside and said, what if we name all the songs from this? What if we go to no, state? No, 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 no. It was it the was opposite. No. I could tell by, based on the conversation, he had discussed it with Aaron the day we before. Had talked about I had thought it. about it for a long time. And then as soon as we got yeah. into it, and Aaron sensed that Nate was not on board, he bailed on yeah. Dusty Quick. How long no. is this song? He no. was out of there. Yeah. Well, at, when I'm running the computer, I feel a little bit of pressure to, you know what I mean, not just sit. But in I think it. So that part made me feel good. If we would have known where these cities are, like if you would well, type, I, if you typed in to go like. But that was the point, though. Had you, if had we been there, you. But would if know. you have any reference to go, if you just go Winslow, I don't know what that means. But if I would have said standing on a corner in Winslow, Arizona, you Winslow, would know. what's it near? But if and you like, had, it's near there, you go. Okay, I've been around. Maybe I've it, been to Scottsdale, and I've been near Winslow. You know what? I've actually been pretty close to Winslow. But so, what if you had just done comedy in Winslow, for instance? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, the yeah, odds. Yeah. Are, I mean, that's you know. He just schedule. did Columbia, Tennessee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I'm on fire today. Yeah. It's, that I, is true. It's I always do. <laughs> I don't do the city. I do some <laughs> outskirt 30 yeah. minutes away He's, that no one's yeah, heard of. That's what I'm saying. Goes, you're going uh, to see him in uh, Jackson County this week. Uh, <laughs> that's what I'm what's saying. Is there a Tennessee, Jackson County? Is uh-huh. it Jackson, Tennessee? Jackson, Tennessee. Yeah, there's both. Yeah. All right. Yeah, sorry. So thank, a, thank you, Sam. I'm in a, mm-hmm. in a fiery mood. You yeah, know. you can tell you're off this weekend. Yeah. Finally bringing some energy to this bring broadcast. some energy, yeah. I got my rant out downstairs. <laughs> That's right. Thanks. You should. These guys all took a bullet. Uh-huh. Yeah, I wish we were recording that. podcast. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, we're having uh, a good time. A roast for John yeah, Chris tonight, yeah. kind yeah. of, mm-hmm. for yeah. his birthday. I mean, this would already be, it already would have happened. So that, I got to be in that. It's you a gotta, surprise too. It's a surprise. Yeah. So are we all doing it? Yeah. I didn't get invited. Well, you're coming. I get there. Right? No one has invited me. I understand that. You don't. Oh. You know this energy. He doesn't even know anybody <laughs> nope. does comedy. They really didn't though. I'm not offended, but they really didn't. No one told me about that's it. That's because his his, girl, his girlfriend his girlfriend put together the, the list. Yeah, I met her. <laughs> yeah, but I went to his party. He did. But yeah. you got to realize you spoke not, at your album release. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we know each other very but, well. But but <laughs> you know him very, very well. well. But her, I know her fairly well. No, I know you I, don't know her well, that well. I, I don't know. Are you guys hanging out having tea with her on the weekend? No, but or? they're more open <laughs> people to hang out with. You're not the easiest to. I oh, yeah. can see a girl. They've been dating for a couple years now, or something. Yeah, you can yeah. make and so, a lot of excuses for, her, but she didn't invite. No, no, me. I That's think I'm. I line. think I'm correct bottom because I don't line. think you give off energy that goes. I bet Dusty wants to come to this. Well, we'll say. Yeah, <laughs> you it was do not, come. his girlfriend did not invite me. Lucy yeah. did. So yeah. Oh, oh, so never mind. But well, Lucy, I know, I know Lucy pretty well too. <laughs> well, I think she sees you enough. <laughs> yeah, pretty well. But I appreciate the invite, though, guys. I'm happy to be you there. Wanna I, go? Hope, I hope the party goes well. I hope John has a good time. <laughs> you should. We're roasting, so you should. You know what would be great? Yeah. If you come and then I'll bring you on stage, and then you just go. You just trash just him for not being inviting. Roast his girlfriend. Just in, yeah, yeah. for not <laughs> for not inviting. Yeah. It yeah. would be. I would even. I would go up and bring you up as just yeah. literally. Please welcome Dusty Slay. <laughs> and it's just let me tell you because you, you didn't get invited. It would be yeah. very funny. It would be glass funny. break, stone cold music. Yeah. Dusty walks out. <laughs> yeah. But then I'd leave because they didn't invite you. Yeah. So then I would leave pretty quickly. Oh, yeah. I'd get right out of there. Yeah. <laughs> Who wants to stay at a party they're not invited to? Hmm? Not me. I don't know. I just, just to clarify, it's Monday. It's already passed when this oh, yeah. podcast yeah. comes yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, it's already yes, happened. it's already happened. Mm-hmm. So we'll see how it goes, see how yeah. it feels. I don't think she knew to invite, like, you know. I guess. Well, you're not a roast guy anyway. Yeah, but you are. I'm not a roast guy. But I, it's like. I sincerely doubt you were genuinely overlooked. This is like, this was kind of thrown together. Yeah. It was a mistake. Mm-hmm. It was a genuine oversight. I didn't know. I thought everybody was invited. But, you it's know. okay. I knew about it, though. I'm, this is not a surprise. I like bringing it up, though. Yeah. Oh, you knew about it? I knew about the party, but I also knew that I wasn't invited. How'd you know about it? I don't know. I, I think Brian. We were yeah. shooting that yeah. video together when I got the text. Yeah. We did a hot chicken video together. Oh, yeah. but did you say I'm with Dusty? I'll tell him. 
No, because I didn't want to get ostracized. Oh, that's uh, on you a little that's bit. On, yeah, no, I don't maybe they so. thought you were going to say <laughs> they go. Oh, that. Brian's filming something with Dusty. Let's save a little bit of time. Just text Brian about yeah. it. <laughs> Obviously, he'll tell Dusty. That's yeah. never the way to handle it. Oh, but yeah. that's. I mean, I think you should have secondhand invite. It's a little imagine, bit on you. Imagine dude. a wedding invite. You're like, oh no, oh. You, I didn't invite you to the wedding because I <laughs> I was texting with a yeah. another a wedding guy. invite's a little more formal than this. This is a I got a, wow. I got a letter for this thing they mailed me a letter <laughs> but <laughs> I didn't, it wasn't just a i don't know if i got invited i don't uh they told laura yeah so i didn't i'll check with my yeah, wife maybe they yeah, told maybe, hannah yeah, maybe, you don't know they told my wife <laughs> yeah yeah i'll find out I probably thought you're in the cab pretty much everyone's invited yeah dude you're yeah. it's yeah. your fault this is i don't happening. know what you're talking about what? How is it my fault? You should have told him. Should have told him. I did tell him. It, to be fair, though, it is your wife sending the invite. No, out. don't drag my family into this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I got a text from Lucy saying, "If you want to roast John Chris," and I told Dusty, "I just got a text from Lucy." I and I thought in that moment, "Well, I'll get invited soon enough." She sent a message saying, "Do you guys want to roast John Chris?" And Brian goes, "Oh, she just invited me." Yeah, that's crazy, dude. Yeah, okay. it should be a shame. Yeah, she might have just texted you to say, "You tell the guys." That's true. <laughs> Actually, I really... I was supposed to tell you and Aaron? Yeah, why yeah And you didn't. Why you not? did not tell us. Well, I'm sorry. You guys are invited. How'd you Thanks. guys find out? I, uh, I <laughs> forgot. And then it was... But I think they... Laura or Abigail or something. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Uh, <laughs> we have John on soon, though. <laughs> at, least, uh, at least I got Sandy Kelps in my corner. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Great name. Cody Wildman. <laughs> Cody Wildman. <laughs> Cody Wildman. Yeah, it's it's Wild Man. Cody Wildman. What a fun <coughs> name. I used to be a bodyguard for Rory Allen, an Elvis impersonator in Ska Saskatchewan. 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 Scat Saskatchewan. How do you say it? Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. Yeah. And we performed a few shows in Gravelberg. <laughs> you may ask, does an Elvis impersonator need a bodyguard? It depends on how much the ladies in the audiences drink. Anyway, you mm -hmm. me your mention of Gra Gravelberg brought back a lot of good memories. Thank you. Wow. Wow. That's crazy that someone has seen done a show in Gravelberg. Is that in the song? Did we mention that? Yeah, it yeah. was one. Oh, sure. In that. I put well, that just, in for you, Dusty, to help you okay. your case. Do you think Rory Allen, though, wanted the... I guess he did want the bodyguard or else he wouldn't have hired I, I bet it becomes, it's like you said, like, do they need anybody? It depends if they drink. I mean, dude, women can be, I like, if they're going there and it's like, you can probably get out of control real quick. And if you're really working, then, like, if this guy was really on the road, mm -hmm. it would just be like every city, like, I can't. It was really yeah. convincing, too. Yeah. Like, really looked yeah. like Elvis. Can we see what Rory Allen looks like? Saskatchewan. 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 Yeah, I'll look him up. It's a good name, Saskatchewan. Oh, this was a this is a famous a famous Elvis in person. Oh yeah, man. Rory Allen. Let's look at some photos. I mean, he's, yeah, he looks like kind of the yeah. young. He looks like Elvis. young Elvis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm, no, <laughs> <laughs> no well, I'm not seeing it. Well, maybe that's now he's doing. I'm sure he's doing a great job, but uh... <clears throat> but he's not trying to be the young Elvis. He's trying to be well. This is this is the age I think of when I think of Elvis. You think right there may me. ever be someone doing that to comedians? Could there ever be a cover impersonator? Yeah, like someone just goes, "I just do all." I don't. I, I do all George Carlin or yeah, yeah. You just memorize all George Carlin bits. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't make sense for comedy. Yeah, you know, they'll just do AI generated yeah. stuff. Uh, Aaron Rodriguez, Rodriguez, but is it spelled? Not like the typical. Uh, curious to know what Nate's take is on soda with breakfast. Years ago, we sat down for breakfast with, with my wife's fam extended family and her aunt's entire family ordered Pepsi. How does this fit into his into his all breakfast or all lunch sentiment? I ordered soda for breakfast. If I had to pick, that's crazy. If I had to pick where I would, if you didn't let me have soda. I would pick breakfast as the only, like, uh, don't take it from me from breakfast. What? I love it that much. Wait, I, was that? I drink diet, <laughs> I'll drink diet, Dr. Pepper, Diet Coke, Diet Pepsi in the morning with my breakfast. But I'm saying if you were like, 
all right, you can only have soda for one of your meals. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I, okay. I, I yeah. didn't say it right. <laughs> but if you have it for one of your meals, I would say I would choose breakfast over the other meals. That's a much really? better way to say it. Yeah. And what okay. if you couldn't have it for the other meals, what would you drink? I just probably wouldn't drink. Uh, <laughs> A sweet tea or something, yeah. yeah, something where they would go. Well, I guess just go ahead. And so you keep don't, that you don't want a coffee. I, I like, I don't want it with food. I don't like coffee with food. Hmm. Uh, if I like, like when I fast, normally I won't eat. Breakfast. So you're like a like you'll have an omelet and a and a Pepsi. Oh, yeah, I oh, love it. That's wild, man. That is wild. Omelet and I think Pepsi. That's wild too. I'll have. Uh, I mean, French toast, pancakes for the Pepsi? Come on. Well, let's say- That's in, maybe my favorite thing I've ever had. Let's bet. say in this first sentence, that's a capital B in breakfast. And mm. does that? how does that change it? <laughs> soda with Brian? How does that change it? Would I have soda with Brian? <laughs> yeah. What's your take on a on soda with, with Brian? Uh, <laughs> well, I love it because the whole Calgate started with me asking you if, if you could ever be difficult on the road. And when you share stories like everyone has to order what I say for <laughs> breakfast, I, I look at the camera like Jim from the office and kind of wink. Like, yeah. There you go. Well, you should let them know people can order. At least show that I'm not, I prefer, <laughs> yeah. but yeah. you might get made fun of if you don't. Yeah. I'm not going to not let you. Yeah, order. You're drinking but a I look, Dr. Pepper all this being at 4 a.m. Yeah. I will. I will drink. Doc, it's crazy. I had Dr. Pepper last night. What about a bourbon and Coke? Well, last breakfast? night's different than no. in the morning. I have it morning and some about the morning. It just feels weird to drink a diet Pepsi on like an early flight. You'll get a diet Pepsi oh, on a flight. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't even. I wouldn't even drink orange juice or anything like that. I mean, I don't normally, but if I fast, I don't. So I won't drink, when I fast, I won't drink any of this. Do you drink water? Yeah. I've been pounding water a lot recently. I'm trying to just keep my water so bad. But <clears throat> yeah, soda, I, I mean, breakfast, that's almost where I would, you know, I love it. Uh, but you know what? Me and Laura went and ate the other day after we laid after church and uh, they had brunch. It's in North Italia and they had brunch. And she got breakfast, and I did not. Mm. So I will say, How was that was that a, an issue? The whole meal, <clears throat> or did you? But in theory, that's what brunch it? is. Yes, but it was. I had like this pizza that was like kind of. They had a breakfast pizza, and then the pizza I had was it wasn't a bread. It was like hunt, hot honey. Oh yeah, pizza or something. Sounds great. Yeah, and so it was. Uh, it was like not, it didn't feel that crazy to me, but I mean, I will agree that I was, I immediately already lied and messed, but maybe I'll, I'll let Laura do it, but other comedians I expect better of. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 And then, but so it happened this week. I already gave up. I was like, I'm already giving up on, you know, but she's someone that can't skip like Laura. I could wake up and eat a hamburger. I could just move straight through. Laura has to, in her head, has to eat breakfast. Like, has to have some form of yeah. breakfast. What I mean, it could be a bite of a muffin to then, mm -hmm. and then can move on. When I opened for John Christ in Mississippi, we woke up late on the bus. We went to a Red Lobster at, like, noon. <clears throat> and John woke up late. He had to stop at McDonald's and get breakfast before he came to Red Lobster. Yeah. And eat because he's like, I have to start with breakfast. Yeah. I can't jump Laura's. into the day with lunch food. Oh, I yeah. thought that was wild. Yeah. I I can I can jump in pretty I can get there quick. <laughs> I had a burger for breakfast on Sunday. Oh man. I can get uh, right into it too. Yeah. yeah. What'd you have with it? What'd At you the drink airport. with it? I I had a uh water, just water. See, I don't know if I can drink. <laughs> I that's my, my my theory with me eating. I think if I only drank water, I would probably eat a lot better because I don't a hamburger doesn't seem good to me with water. The reason I'm there is for the Diet Coke. Uh, see, I, I like associate that. water's great. I, I love associate water. Diet Coke with. I wouldn't want uh, pizza without a Diet Coke. I wouldn't want if I had to drink water with it. Ugh, like that. That is disgusting to me. I think that you you know you just go for eating the food. I think that uh, what even dr like drinking while eating can affect your digestion. Mm -hmm. Because you're oh. supposed to like so your saliva is supposed to like it's all part of the breaking down process yeah. of the food. Do you have any foods that you would rather drink sweet tea over a soda? 
like mm. uh, Thanksgiving mm-hmm. type stuff. What like about that? like a pie? I don't really like a pie. <laughs> you know, I like, like, an, like an apple pie and a sweet tea? I like pecan pie. Oh, I like pecan pie yeah. too. But I don't like apple. I don't like pie. I'm not a big pie guy. I love a pie. Yeah. I'd eat, I eat. I mean, I would eat cake and ice cream and have a soda with it. Because I'm, I mean, I'm similar if it's pizza or burger, I got to have a soft drink over water. Right. Or I, ideally. But if it's like Cracker Barrel Southern cooking, then I'd rather have a sweet tea. It just seems like it. Yeah, goes I mean, I can see that. It, it feels like it goes with it, too. Yeah. But, yeah. But, I, I, you know, it depends on, yeah. All right. Cole Wogaman. We got some <laughs> last names today, man. Uh, it's Wogaman. Wogaman. Wogoman. It should be Wogoman. It should be Wogoman. Cole Wogoman. Whoa, and even you're like, well, what man. do you do? That's With a last name like Wogoman, you'd go, well, what do you do? <laughs> Because that sounds like a guy that does something. You know, you don't meet a cold logo man. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, what do you, you put on a show? I think you can see his show. Right. What do you think he it, does? I, I don't I don't even know. But I think if you ask Cole Wogo man <laughs> to get on stage, he'd put on a pretty good show. He's going to have a yo-yo. He's going to have a yo He's <laughs> yeah, going to yeah. have a little bit of everything. He's top five in the yeah. world. Yeah. 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 I remember going to one of Aaron's first ever comedy shows at the club at Notre Dame to show my support. Oh, you know this guy? Yeah, this is my buddy from college. That's uh, why I knew his does name. He, does he put on a show? No. Yeah. no? <laughs> <laughs> I believe his opening joke was, to me, a big a bag of trail mix is just a bag of M&Ms with obstacles. I Some remember that joke. Change. I think, right? Did you have that joke? Yeah, that's he kind of butchered the wording of it. But yeah, yeah, that's the idea. It's funny. Sure. I think a bag of trail mix is just a bag of M&Ms with a bunch of obstacles in it. That's good. Say it like that. Yeah, a bunch of other stuff in the way is how I would say. Right. You remember that was a hot joke. Yeah, it was a good minute. joke. Yeah, I, thought was I was thinking that I was with you <laughs> yeah, on this too. show, but that that would this because we did the what was that thing we no, did I in think Notre it's Dame? Just been closing on the his, drop. <laughs> open the drop. material for quite a while. <laughs> yeah, <now>. yeah. <laughs> the drop. <laughs> goes, Tell the plant joke. Now I got to do this own. trail mix. I've had this. Uh, everybody at the Grove <laughs> is like, he did he open and close with that <laughs> trail mix stuff. You really outed me, Cole. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm glad your friends can talk to you through the podcast. Uh, Whoa, maybe, go, just, man. maybe just text that next time. Whoa, go, man. No, He's been I'm listening joking. from uh, from day one. Cole's a good buddy. Cole's man. a good guy. I'm yeah. joking Cole. to you and to the podcast. That's right. Yes. So much so that you're like, what does he do? Whoa, go man! <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> what does he do? He works in D.C. He works in politics. Ooh, Wogo man. Yeah, Senator Wogo. He is Wogo, but if he if it was pronounced Wogo man, I think his life would be different. I think so too. Yeah, mm-hmm. we wouldn't be friends. No, y'all'd be free. No, you'd be, be. You just meet him doing comedy. You met him on this circuit right. and not the college circuit. Right, right. <laughs> Mallory Lockhart. If someone recognizes you in public, are you okay with them asking you for a photo or an autograph? Are there times you'd rather not be approached? Love you guys. I think this is for Brian. Yeah, I'll take this one. <laughs> I was waiting to make the yeah. same joke. <laughs> <laughs> Dusty, did you want to say it as well? Uh, yeah. You're all thinking it. I would bet oh. in a neutral site, Dusty gets recognized more than Nate just just because you have a distinctive look. Yeah, yeah, I got a lot going on. I'm a real wogo man. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm saying... At yeah. the airport, for instance, you can spot oh, Dusty yeah. from a distance. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a flag walking around. <laughs> yeah. What's the old Chris Rock joke? Like, you're famous from 10 feet away. Dusty's famous from, from, from 30 a, feet a mile. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can spot him. Is oh, that, yeah. Is you that hear him first. All right. <laughs> you go, that's a woman well, or that's Dusty Slay. <laughs> that is what happens to me. People say, if I'm not, if I don't look like this, mm-hmm. they'll go, they'll go, I heard you talk. And then I was like, oh, I know that guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've had that happen. Yeah. Where people know your voice. Uh, I always say I would, I'll do it. I, I love taking a picture. And yeah, me too. I don't mind it. I Very find nice. the autograph Appreciate is weird because uh, I just think that it's like me signing my name is worthless, but I, it doesn't bother me to do it. Mm-hmm. You got a good looking signature though. Yeah. I, I mean, I, you know, I'm okay, but I just, I don't know. It seems like, like as a person that used to get people's autographs, it feels weird to be the guy doing it. Mm-hmm. I'm like, Oh, who am I to be doing this? Right. Right. But you know, I don't mind doing I've it. I've had to sign a lot more pictures like guys waiting outside the bus or something where they're doing that. I did have some guys do that recently. Mm-hmm. And I was like, they had a stack. I was like, I'll do two of these. I was like, that's too much. I don't know what you're doing here. Yeah. 
It just seems too weird. I said yes. It's it's so funny that you already <laughs> your first time ever. Like you're always like first time it happened to me. I was like blown. I would have signed anything and everything. But if it were a hundred, you'd be like, I'm not doing. They just seem like not shady a, dudes. I, I had, I've right. had. I know, but I've had recently. We had them, and they had a bunch. And then uh, they did it where someone went and got them and said he'll do three of these. He's not mm -hmm. doing all mm -hmm. the, you know. But I'm saying it takes, it happens a lot. I always like when it first happens, you're like, this is crazy, dude. Of course. And you, yeah. I couldn't believe it. So I'm saying I would have signed it. I think it's very funny that the first time it happened to you, you've already told them no. <laughs> yeah. I said, I'll do a couple of these, but I don't know what, it just weirds me out. Yeah. You're, you're waiting at the show. You got a stack of them in some FedEx envelope. Right. And it's like, why do you want me to sign all of these? Because if you have a, either you're, I don't know, trying I've to sell them, them or you're, you got yeah. some weird shrine going on. <laughs> either way, I'm not trying to do well i think they do try to sell them and i'm not it's or they put them on ebay or they do whatever mm -hmm. <clears throat> but uh yeah it's like I always offer it's like at least come to the show yeah mm -hmm. you suggest it yeah i say y'all want to do a picture <laughs> yeah and i always take them off guard like oh okay i hate yeah. to say no <laughs> i asked that today i ran into the store and or had to go to apple and i had a lady i was like you want to take a picture I say it a lot because like, I can tell. I just feel like I'm trying to guess. Like I can tell <clears throat> that I think they want to, but they're trying to be polite. Mm -hmm. And then so I'm just like, but then it's, that's a that's a risky move because sometimes they're like, oh, I don't okay. And then you're like, well, I don't have to take yeah, a you're, picture. You're like, you want to take a picture with my phone? Yeah, <laughs> you're you're a big enough act where even most people don't like how they look in photos, but you're big enough where it's worth it to them, even if they don't feel like they look good to post it. I'm the type where the majority of people take pictures of me. I never see it <laughs> yeah. because they're like, ah, that ain't not, that's not worth it. And because you don't look good in it. <laughs> yeah, that's what they do. They're like, I look great. They go, if we could crop him out. Yeah. <laughs> That would be, can you imagine if you so you see a picture that someone's using and it's from you after a show where you're cut out? Just a little bit of Brian's yeah. head. Um, just see my arm? <laughs> it just says, we had a great time at the comedy yeah. show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ever, I got that Gerald Ford right out of there. It's like the girl that I, I've told that story, but. The, I was a, at your show and yeah. I was on it and she, I remember her and she didn't remember yeah. me. That's yeah. so funny. Dude. I mean, that's so good. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we had the show last <laughs> Yeah, were you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah and that's when you're like, yeah, I was sitting next to you. Yeah. You know, you don't go, I was on yeah, it. I did 20 yeah. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> but Brian will do that. He'll tell him, yeah, I was on the show. What? He says it like, in, <laughs> like he, you will just say it to him. Exactly. <clears throat> Well, I did. Yeah, they're like, yeah. were you? They're like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like a Nate fan. Jay Fed. Jay Fed, right? Deed? Deed, maybe. Uh, Dusty. Jatheed, maybe Jatheed. Jatheed. Dusty previously said people should wake to the sunlight to preserve circad circadian. 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 I thought those are... Only come every four years. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cicada joke. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're keeping the rhythm out there. They do yeah. keep a good rhythm, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah they do. They all do right. good. Yeah. yeah, we don't mind them. Dusty, do they come every four years or something? There's yeah, like one like, that comes every seven and one that comes every twenty-one or something. I think there's one that comes every like thirteen. Yeah, where do they go? And every underground. And they just live. So they're living. I think this is the year for one of them. Yeah, they're like grubs, right? And then they uh, become those little skeletons on the tree. Yeah. They emerge from the skeleton on the tree. So what are they doing on the ground? Just hanging, hanging, out, hanging out, waiting. Yeah. One summer job I had, I had to sweep all these cicada carcasses off the top of a, a building. It was so many, dude. Yeah. Millions of them. Yeah. Just dead cicadas. You swept them off, huh? I used to collect them. Swept them into a pile. This is too much for a collection. Yeah. Too much. Did you do like an estimate, like a sort section and count them? Or how did you come up with that number? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did some sampling. Yeah. yeah. Dusty previously said people should wake to the sunlight to preserve circadian rhythm. 
In this episode, he says he is fine with people in Knoxville having 9 o'clock sunrise in a permanent daylight savings time, adding if they don't like it, they can just move. (laughs) Yeah. Well, I think, you know, people often misinterpret what I'm saying. I'm saying in in an ideal world, (coughs) we would wake up when the sun comes up, irregardless, I know that's not a word, but regardless of the time. We would wake up when the sun comes up and then we would go to sleep when it goes down. Maybe, we'll, you know, maybe we're up for a couple of hours with some candles or whatever. Mm-hmm. But, mm-hmm. you know, I'm not saying, uh, but I just think it's better to have the daylight longer in the day mm-hmm. than in the morning. Yeah. You can wake up, right. have yourself a Coke, wait for the sun to come up yeah. and then go to work. For wherever you're living at that time. Yeah. Yeah. But then you got sun later in the day. Mm-hmm. Come mm-hmm. on, Jay Fed. Well, you've already replied to him. On YouTube, but I thought that's a funny comment. I'm going to go ahead and post it anyway. Yeah, it's hard to find comments that Dusty has already well, told him what he thinks. I try to not do it every week, but sometimes I'll go. I'll be, you know, I'll be like this Wednesday. I was at the airport when the podcast came out, yeah. so I'm just hanging out, mm-hmm. and I'm like, "Oh, the podcast is out. Let's see what people are saying." And then I'm like, "Oh, here we go. <laughs> well, I don't have it <laughs> in the trenches, dude. He's not even on his phone. He's got his computer out. <laughs> ah, here we go. He's at like a gamer desk <laughs> yeah and like where they have the, the seat and the Set headphones up. and he's just like hey, hey, hey i didn't mean that <laughs> we can move if you want to move yeah, yeah. And move you know what i mean it's five o'clock somewhere what are like angle sign no no autographs people just coming up just, <laughs> what are you trying to do with that <laughs> aaron west oh My wife and I got married in 1997 before digital cameras. For some reason, my wife always blinks during photos. So when the giant frame wedding photo arrived, we noticed that they painted in her left eye because she blinked. To this day, it hangs in her parents' house. Wow. Is there a picture of it or no? (laughs) No. I guess we'll just have to imagine it. I do love that. (laughs) Y'all looked up. It's still the Elvis impersonator (laughs) on my computer. So she only blinked one eye, huh? That's a wink. Uh, well, I'm sure it just probably maybe one gets started. I wonder if they do the exact same time or if one's you got one eye, it's a little oh. quicker than the other. <laughs> you had one recently, they had to fix one eye, right? Well, they messed it up. It's on a cover of a magazine. Oh, they messed it up. I they thought they just caught up. you in mid blink, caught you in a weird no, time. No, no, the picture was approved, mm-hmm. but then they did something because they have to for the magazine. It's this, it's a touring magazine, so it's not like a you go buy it men's health or yeah, something. Yeah. yeah. And so it's, so they put it, they had to move it around. So then my, my right eyes, like kind of like half shut. They wanted your head in front of the yes. words. Yes. So they cut out your head and then they didn't align it with the, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a little off. It's a little off. So, uh, Troy Meeker. I would love to read a book by Nate Dusty or even Aaron. <laughs> Have you ever guys thought about that? <laughs> yeah. Your book would be no ghost writer, just. Well, mm-hmm. I didn't even get mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. What'd you? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> At least you got an even in there. What would you write a book about? Your memoir? Yeah. yeah. Your memoir. You know, First that. 100 pages before you start comedy. <laughs> just. <laughs> yeah. The audacity of despair. Mm hmm. Brian Bates was that. Remember Obama's book? Oh, was that was called? It's funny in my head. <laughs> I just didn't know it. Good. I didn't know it. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. No, let's say Troy's right. What would you guys be about? I don't know. Uh, I, I would write a story, a novel. I used to write novels when I was a kid. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Of course. <laughs> you told us this. Did your mom keep them? Yeah, my mom's kept a couple yeah. of them. She yeah. has them somewhere. I got to find them. Yeah, bring, read them? Them? bring them in. Yeah. I'll bring them in. Yeah. Is fun. it in a book? Yeah, it's in a binder where I have it all. <laughs> so we can read it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Maybe do a little book club there with you your book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That'd be good. Yeah, that'd be fun. I like that. Uh, you want to tell us about electric e-bikes? Electric e-bikes. Uh, we have ours. I wrote it the other night, actually. From commutes to adventures, riders of all abilities can explore the new electric bike. I love my electric e-bike. I did just ride it. It's comfortable and easy to ride. Uh, it has some, you can get going to 20, like, I want to say it's like eight. Faster than you think, man. No, it might even faster than that. Cruise on this. You can really cruise on. They're super fun, man. They're so fun. Uh, we have one too. It's got a basket in the back. You use a basket on a bike more than you 
more than you think. Mm -hmm. uh, we also got the tire pump. It is uh, awesome. It is electric too. Just automatically fills up the oh the tire pump. Yes, I'm just reading. It's electric. Automatically fills up the tires. I love having it. Uh, <coughs> It would have been great. New York, I mean, New York, they have those electric bucks now, but if you had that, I mean, it's like riding a little motorcycle. A lot of people doing deliveries on them in New York City. I was right. just there. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, that's the way to go. You would save on gas parking, just the maintenance of a car. It even folds easily and fit in your apartment or in your car if you're in a city uh, or anywhere you can fold. It's super easy. You can get up to 150 miles on one charge. That's a so mm -hmm. long. Mm -hmm. If you're in a city, I mean, you might be charging that thing once a month. Uh, explore 2024 with electric e-bikes, the most accessible and adventurous e-bikes ever. Visit electricebikes.com to learn more. And be sure to mention that Nate Land sent you in the post-checkout survey. That's L-E-C-T-R-I-C-E-Bikes.com. All right. Uh, Nick Ventura. Uh, Ventura. Ace Ventura. <laughs> yeah. I completely and totally agree with Dusty on the TSA topic. This is a big pro-Dusty um, day. Um, uh, these people are out there. <laughs> yeah, we found them. It is absolutely ridiculous, all the measures we have to go through to get on a plane. We are not the criminals. <clears throat> right. They are. Yeah. No, he didn't say that. Right. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't reading along. But yeah, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We are not the criminals there. Yeah, you got it, buddy. You got it, Nick. Yeah. Uh, metal detector is fine, but everything else is stupid. I want to hang out and have a convo with Dusty so badly. Every Wednesday is a blast with you guys. Keep up the great work. Thanks, Nick. You and Nick could become friends. Yeah, let's get together, me yeah. and you and Sandy Kelps. Yeah. Yeah, I would disagree with you and Nick, but... You want the most security. Well, I just feel like we, you know, I mean, 9-11's been over 20 years, so now everybody's kind of, you know, forgetting about it. And mm -hmm. so You never forget. No. And then the shoe bomber guy happened right after that, so that's when we had to stop taking start. Yeah, but how would up. they stop that stuff if they didn't have security? Like, no metal detector. Well, I think a metal detector, you know, you make sure people, you know, you yeah. go through something, you don't have guns, you don't have knives, but yeah. the rest of the stuff there. Well, like, you're no, for guns though. Um, yeah, but I mean, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'm fine with a metal detector, but it's like, yeah, I mean like no water, you can't bring your water in here. And it's like, yeah. and, and I got honey taken from me one time and it's just, I couldn't take my thing of yogurt through the yeah. other day. It's mm -hmm. like, come on guys. The toothpaste where they, yeah. they're like, that's a big tube. And, you're and like, then mm. like, if you, you know, it's like, you know, you have to go through, mm. if you do pre-check, you don't have to do the x-ray machine, mm -hmm. right? But if you, if you get uh, randomly mm. selected, you do have to go into the x-ray machine. Right. And if you have a problem with, with doing the x-ray machine, like maybe you don't want your body shot up with radiation, you go, oh, I'd just like to opt out and do a pat down. Then they really come at you hard. Like you're like some kind of criminal. And it's like, well, what I did was I just bought a ticket and that ticket is funding you to have this job. Mm -hmm. I'm the customer here. And you're over here patting me down like I'm some sort of criminal. Mm -hmm. I got no record. I got no, uh, you know, there's never been an incident with me in an airport. And it's you like, think they have the access to look up your record? I you bet they do. I thought you did have a record. <laughs> a person at TSA. <laughs> I bet they Hold do. Hold on a second. <laughs> I bet it's good. No record. I bet some, I mean, you know, they scan your ID. So right. all that stuff comes right. up. Yeah. Right. I know I got arrested when I was younger, but I got youthful offender, and uh, so that's go. been wiped from my mm -hmm. and expunged. It, and it wasn't a violent offense. Sure, it wasn't. Yeah, you know, I wasn't sneaking weapons into a a government facility. Well, to get or, you're clear, right? Yes. To get that, you they do a background check. Well, them, TSA right? pre also you do. I'm yeah. sure they mm -hmm. do a pretty extent. I mean, I, I think they do it more more of a background check for TSA than they do for clear. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Hartford Airport, by the way, what a mess. Uh, it was the TSA, the clear, the lines were so long. It was unbelievable. They're like, it's spring break. I'm like, is Hartford the spring break destination point? Yeah. I mean, is that what's going on around there? Uh, you know, LA has a nonstop to Hartford, I think. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's Hartford. It's very weird because I've taken it once. And it's a flight that you're like, I don't know why this flight would be. I think there's a lot of money in Connecticut, so I'm sure that's mm -hmm. why. Mm -hmm. But it was like a Thursday, nonstop, L.A. to Hartford. And I was like, and I had to be there the next day. And I was in L.A. I was like, this is the craziest thing. Yeah. It's like this flight was there for me. <laughs> 
Uh, Eric Hedge, Hedge. Eric Hedge or Hedge? Hedge. You would think the two guys that graduated college would have a good enough grasp of physics to realize that when a space shuttle leaves the atmosphere, it creates a suction behind it. It seems certain that at least some amount of water vapors, water vapor follows it into outer space. I did do a quick Google search, and it does say microscopic amounts of water go out into the stratosphere, which is pretty far from mm-hmm. the Earth. So mm-hmm. just want to. I like that he thinks a college graduate is going to know some physics. I had a communications major. Or also that it's obvious based yeah. on a our level of physics knowledge. <laughs> it like like it, it follows <laughs> like it follows logically that obviously, well, obviously. Well, be some Dusty, said Dusty that, replied to this guy yeah. said, Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's that's not what about. you were saying, but yeah. But well, we also not, haven't used a space shuttle in like 20 years. So well, get some updated. I was just proposing here. that, you know, again, that if you know water does go up into the clouds, that mm-hmm. there's a possibility that it could continue to go past that's all people got wild in the comments around this guy but uh <laughs> oh they were they not were... not attacking it, but there was something else about me denying science or whatever but it's like oh, okay people yeah. f- you know science is asking questions i mean mm-hmm. that's right that's what it's all about you know what yeah. i can't get my head around is march madness is starting this mm-hmm. week the odds how many different i don't even know how to say it brackets yeah there can be it's some astronomical number, and yeah. I get it would be a huge number, but it's so high. I can't even understand how it's so many. Mm-hmm. Well, it's like because any game could be – you have to go, so this team beats this team, and then every other team wins every other time. And then that's just that. Thing. Now yeah. do it again, and it's that team beats that team, and now you have to do it both ways. Yeah, And then it's like where they could end up being is just – but I, if you're, that, I understand. But if you said guess how many it could be, I'd say fifty thousand. Wow, I don't know. You think you'd say a lot? I don't know if I would even give you. I would, I would say I don't even know what number to tell you. How many different ways there could be? Is there a million ways or something? No, it's no, like way more than that. Trillion. It's ways? like an unfathomably large number. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. Well, the guy I tell you, man. Some of these search engines stink. I gotta go back to Google real quick. I'll uh, figure it uh, out. Nate search engine. Oh, because uh, oh, is that like so? Duck, duck, do or you're brave or whatever. They're not as good. No, the brave. Yeah, is that duck, duck, go that I'm that brave uses automatically? Yeah. yeah. Google just Google's the goat. Nine point two quintillion possible outcomes. Okay, that got close. So yeah, pretty big. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> there's a bracket right for like teams that are like so bad what do they call that there's like a bracket that of teams that there's like a tournament for well there's NIT. another tournament the nit and that's like yeah that's like teams that i remember just reading some story and the, the coach of an nit last year was like he was having a, a baby and they were like oh he had to be he had to be coaching this game and i was like oh this must be a big deal and they were like, oh, no, it's like the teams that are not good. I'm like, you're missing the birth of your baby for this t- this tournament where, like. It- His job might be on the line, though. You know, mm-hmm. you never Bandy know. Bandy won the NIT. Didn't they did? win it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. When? 93 or something? Or? It was uh, maybe even earlier yeah. than that. What's the yeah. NIT stand for? Non-invitational tournament. Yeah. That's not, I, I don't <laughs> think that's it, but that's the joke. Yeah. I oh, think okay. it's national. Invitation. Not invited tournament. Not invited tournament. Oh, yeah. It's unbelievable that they use that exactly that. <laughs> Like the person that goes, that's oh, a good national invitation tournament. Oh, that'll make the people feel. And they were like, what is that, the non invited tournament? And they're like, dang, gum it. All right. Uh, the NFT's fun, you know. At I mean, one it depends point, on what baby this was, too. What if it was baby right. three, yeah, four? Exactly. Yeah. You know, Who his wife cares like, at that point. Yeah. It's like your wife running up to the grocery store, just grab something real mm-hmm. fast, come back with another human being. Mm-hmm. Uh, I forget. And he dead the time because I forgot you were. <coughs> Uh, Adam Diaz, Diaz, Dusty is correct. The tie looks oh, the best, geez. slightly above the belt, <laughs> but I lived in Trailer Park too, so that may be a poor man's look. <laughs> there you go. Well, I think it's. I could see it above the belt is what you put on when like the water people come by to make sure ask for <laughs> your bill. They go, you haven't paid your bill this month, and your dad 
puts a clip, I'd on, like clip, clip on, on tie. I, don't know. Goes, I'd I like, think a clip on tie probably does go above the belt. I'd like to see some pictures of you guys in suits. I bet every picture of you guys in suits with a tie, it's slightly above the belt. I, I have bet. one that your wedding of us together. You do? Mm-hmm. How but do you? We, like, had a, we had a vest. You feel good about your tie length? Yeah, I don't remember, but I'll say yes. Where do you wear it on this diagram right here? I think, Dusty, you're advocating for the one on the very left. Yeah, the very left. Uh, I think that looks a little... Uh, I, I would advocate would for say. in between yeah. like a steak and the shake first two on the left. Manager. That, that's look, the I would tell him I would rather the one on the left than the one on the far right. The one on the far right's egregious. Too yeah, bad. Yeah. yeah, really bad. Yeah. Maybe the second to the left is okay. You okay. know, I'm okay with that, yeah. but... I still like the one on the far left, but maybe, yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, I don't claim to be a tie expert. I mean, just like right. this guy. Right, right. I don't know. Right. I mean, I know, you know, how much water is leaving the earth, but I don't know <laughs> tie. The proper way to wear a tie. I was always thought the tip of the tie is supposed to touch the very top of the belt. No, that's a good rule of thumb. This diagram is saying that that would be perfectly acceptable. Is it? Yeah. I but there's 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 I think there's one in between the first and the second. See, that's one. what yeah. I'm saying too. Well, that's oh, what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. 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 They're, and they're kind of skipping. Like this is, you know. A lot of these diagrams also assume a perfectly flat stomach too. Yeah. yeah. So there's a lot of other variables. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's true. You're like, you know? you're like, that's how it looks long. You're like, it's got a little ways to go. <laughs> you don't know. It's taking the, it's on a, it's on a different trail. I think it's not on the. Let me ask you all this though. What's so bad about a clip oh, on ahead. clip on tie? Uh. I, I don't know. I just think it's like put the work in and yeah. these are probably nicer. Mm-hmm. I don't think they sell nice clip on time. It's probably the same reason the browser thing like is good and bad. Like it's just like it is it's not going to be as good a as tie. I never knew that about the browser <laughs> thing. I didn't know that that could work like that. It might be it might be fine for but for, for what, how we're using it on this podcast. It's like I it always disappoints me. It never gets what I want. It's because there's no filtration. That's probably, probably part of it. Like I like I always think that like you're, oh, you're, you you want you guys are still talking about ties. I was like, <laughs> yeah. what, what do you mean? No, no. <laughs> no, but I mean I never thought about that with the 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 search engine because mm-hmm. it's like Google. The positives is so many people are searching that when you type something in, it's like going like you're. I know what you're basically looking for. Sure. And yeah. then Duck to Go Braves like we're not saving nothing. <laughs> And you're just, it's like the first, it's like you're like the first man to walk into the internet. Yeah. yeah. And you go, hello, how, how long should I hang a tie? And right. they're like, well, here's a noose. And you're like, I don't, <laughs> what? You go, where are we going, buddy? Yeah. And he's like, well, I have no, no structure. I have no structure in my life. Just like a man you meet out in an alley and he's selling everything. And you're like, what? A, but he, he sells everything, but nothing you want. Yeah. Yeah. This uh, write that down. This is a guy, put that in my book. Yeah. It'll be uh, a whole chapter on ties. When standing in your natural posture, the tip of the tie should end in the middle of the belt. You know, I'll be fair. I'll be honest. Looking at this diagram that we're looking at right now, the too short one is the one I've been advocating for, but it does look bad right there. Mm-hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and say that. I think the one above it, though, is how the guy's tie looked. That we were looking at last week, right, right, right. See, that's what I'm saying. It's too long. This that that does seem too short. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you know, I might have been advocating for that, but looking yeah. at it, yeah, it's like backpedaling. But, but I think the guy yeah. was this. And he was the too long one. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, I agree. Last you know one, I mean? There you go, Mike that's Terry. Called growth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Terry. Nate said that Fallon hadn't done stand up in a while. But he does a nightly monologue on The Tonight Show. Is there a difference in your mind between doing a monologue and doing a stand-up routine? Uh, a little different. It's he's He is telling jokes every night uh, to a live audience. So, yeah, that is the rhythm of all that. He would be – it makes complete sense. I didn't, I, and you know what? Honestly, I, never, I didn't really think of it like that. But, it, it, but it, I think stand-up is different because it's – you know, uh, the monologue, you're, it's like topical. It's like people are right. You're right. You're reading, you're saying other people's jokes and stand up is more, you're saying your own jokes. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think it's, I don't know if it's, there's just a different rhythm to it. I don't know, but yeah, no, it makes Mike's correct. It does make sense why he would be able to pick it up. Cause it's, he is telling jokes. 
every night. I never thought of that. You think that's Mike Terry uh, that uh, works at the Grand Ole Opry? Does the uh, Sirius XM country radio? I don't see why not. Mike Terry? Could be. I like Mike Terry. I'm a big fan yeah, of him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There you go. Never met him. You never met him? He'll, he'll announce you out to the Opry sometimes. Oh, I don't think I've had a show with him. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like Mike Terry. You know Mike? I do. You've asked that three times. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, that's not the same guy. <laughs> all right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, uh, well, I feel bad for saying mm-hmm. that, but when you asked it the second time, I was like, Dusty, you've asked that before. And, uh, oh, he's had multiple comments read on this podcast. At least three. Can okay. we be sure that it's the same Mike Terry? <laughs> yeah, that's that's a fair know. point. That <laughs> yeah. is a fair point. <laughs> yeah. Right. Pretty sure this guy lives in Utah. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, right. You know a lot more about him. Yeah, really pretty. Yeah, I mean, yeah, pretty, I guess, pretty yeah. sure this guy lives at three hundred two <laughs> yeah. Eagle Crest Lane. Mike Terry might need to be like, I need to lay off these <laughs> comments. Get a little Bates get a little hit a little too close to home. Just pull back a little bit. Let people know. Well, I think this guy, you know, Wogo Bates nice out here. <laughs> Cole Wogo, <laughs> Mike. You got any comments this week? Nah, I'm good. Might be pumping them out, buddy. I need them. <laughs> uh, well, this week, uh, a lot of people. This past week and this coming week, spring break, headed to Florida. Yeah. All right. Good time to talk about Florida. I can believe we've never talked about Florida. Not as his own episode. Were we saving it for somebody? Maybe. Do you have a famous comedian friend that's from Florida Mm -hmm. that you know of? I mean, there's always guys I think about if they ever came on. Like, I saved Colorado for a long time in case Dan Soder ever came. Mm -hmm. Uh, Vecchione lived in Florida for a while. Yeah. Florida's great. That's a reach. I love Florida. Yeah, it is a reach. <laughs> yeah. My kids lived a few places. Yeah. Pennsylvania and Ohio. But mm. do you consider Florida the South? Yeah, for sure. Once you get real Southern uh, in Florida, it's, it's a bit of a different beast down yeah. there. But, well, uh, but like upper f- northern Florida, central Florida, very Southern. I think very Southern. I don't know if people think, do they think I'm going to Florida, I'm going to the South? That's the thing. I think like, of like the SEC. Florida's in the SEC. So yeah. I think Northern Florida is kind of like Alabama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then Southern Florida, I think of old retirees from like yeah. New York. Mm-hmm. That's right. I think but of that's pit all, bull. all yeah, all coastal stuff. And then on the tip, yeah, pit bull, big you know Cuban vibe down there. I love it. I'm a big fan. I came in here wearing the shirt. Remember that? I should have wore that shirt today. <laughs> oh, that's that's funny. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Yeah. It is a its own thing. It's kind of a... They're saying southern in the middle is cows and oranges, for the people listening, and the bottom part's northern. Mm-hmm. I could, yeah. Yeah. Because <clears throat> parts of the, the panhandle are like, man, that's, a, that's about as southern as it gets. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm just saying in yeah. general, when someone, if you walk by some briefly and you were like, do you think Florida's in the south? I don't know. You know, it would. It's 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 not like if you go Georgia, Tennessee, or Alabama. You know, Alabama. Like, yeah, those people just really think the South. Florida is such a tropical place that, you know, but it's very very southern. The northern part of it is. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and the further south you go, the more northern. It yeah, becomes. it's like if you're driving to the beach and you like you go through a lot of these small towns, you're like, oh, this is very southern. Oh here. yeah, you know. But once you get to you know uh, Vero Beach or uh, <laughs> you know, I've been to a lot of these kind of retirement communities doing comedy. There's a lot of comedy zones out there, mm-hmm. and I can't even think of them right now. But uh, where it's like, yeah, this is a different vibe here. Mm-hmm. And Miami definitely doesn't feel like. Uh, uh, the you know Alabama. I got. Uh, I did a weekend at Cocoa Beach, Florida. Oh yeah, Gregory's Comedy Club. Oh, I've been there years ago. I was opening for somebody there, and I drove all the way there. It's like yeah. a stupid drive, thirteen hours or whatever. And I was driving back, and I got in a wreck. It was my fault. I got in an accident on the interstate. I slammed into this minivan with a family in it. I'm watching because like, you were watching Law and Order. No, <laughs> this, this, West Wing. Uh, West Wing. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah, did you have to put your entertainment system to the ground? No, this is, I was driving a two-seater Toyota Tacoma. The radio didn't work. The only way I could listen to stuff was I had to play stuff on my phone, and I would put it in, like, my hoodie. I mean, it was just <laughs> yeah. miserable driving in that You never had headphones? No, I, for some reason, I always felt like it was wrong to wear headphones. Well, you're literally hitting someone with the phone <laughs> in your hood, so I mean, I think, what's the difference? You know? <laughs> 
look, these are all great points in retrospect, but at the time, anyway, it was it was like traffic had stopped quickly, yeah. and I slammed it in this minivan. We pulled off, and the truck was messed up. So I, was, I had to stay in Ocala, I think the name of it, right in the middle of this cows and oranges there. I had to stay there for like three days. Oh, wow. But I took a picture of my truck that was all smashed up, and I sent it to some comic friends of mine, and they used it to get out of work for a long months, wow. maybe years. Sativa, my friend Brad Sativa, he texted to his boss and was like, we got in a car accident. That picture helped a lot of people oh, really? skip work. Yeah, the picture that smashed oh, up. Oh, like truck. comics would just... Yeah, yeah, use it to lie to their yeah. job to get out of oh, stuff. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. By proxy, also hurt a lot of people. Hurt a lot of those employers. Hurt a lot of those yeah. customers trying to eat there. Well, come yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a very fun spin on things. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't come up with the idea, but it was used in that in that way. Yeah, you know. good for you. I'm yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> I'm just saying I'm familiar with this area. I Man, I was stranded there in some random hotel for for two or three days. You know, I made that drive too, and I at the time I had an oil leak in my car, and I drained most of the oil out all the way down there. The whole underside of my car had oil all over it. So, oh wow! So I've been there. Did you make it back? Okay. I did make it back just fine. And that Gregory's, uh, the the hotel was right on the beach. Yeah, that's it was right. the 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 gig was not good at all. But the hotel, I was opening for a guy too. I was opening for a you know for a magician, and uh, he was good. But it was like we had you know, uh, you know, ten people at the show. And wow! One night they were like, <laughs> "You got ten? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one night they were like, because we're upstairs, and they were like, "Oh, everybody." that's got tickets to the show is eating in the restaurant. So we're mm -hmm. going to hold the show until they're done. So imagine what kind of power the audience has to oh, know yeah. that the show is waiting on them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I did a comedy zone, I think Fort Walton <laughs> beach. Right. And they have a mechanical bull. Y'all done that one? No. This is the block, I think it's called. Yeah, I think yeah. so. But you could just hear people while I'm on stage just over there. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, <laughs> they get thrown yeah. off the bull. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah you, you always gotta hate the room where it's like you can hear the better entertainment yeah, choice oh, there's multiple <laughs> options in there's that like room. eight more fun things to <laughs> yeah, do yeah yeah <laughs> inside this building it's like doing a show at a fair yeah yes yeah. exactly mm. yeah yeah darts right there by that stage too <laughs> yeah there's, there's not really a stage right you're just kind of <laughs> yeah you're there. just kind of in a room and uh -huh. just trying to get people to look at you i did that run with a guy it was my first real road gigs in in that show, and he lost his cool, just screamed at the audience. First time I've seen a guy have a meltdown mm -hmm. on stage, started screaming at him, walked mm. a ton of people. That's fine. He had just had it, dude. Yeah. yeah. Something about that, it just brought it out of him. He just, he tapped out. I think when you've been on the road a long time, you're going to hit, you know, it's just same drunk, same thing. Yeah. Nothing is even interesting to you anymore. You get yeah. heckled and you're like, I've seen a thousand of you, dude. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 Those road comedy zone and funny business gigs, not that there's not some good ones because there of are, course, but of the, I still want to work. Them, yeah. the, but the comedy, <laughs> yeah. the comedy zone and funny business has a lot of like bad gigs out there too, where it's like, and they know it too. <clears throat> mm -hmm. They might not say it to you, but they know it. And it's like, it's just wild how bad it is. Not in Florida, but Florida's such a great comedy state, man. There's so many good clubs there. See, Florida was the one a place that I never, it, I, I, for a long time, I was like, I've not done any comedy in Florida. And now I've done a lot. But you say you've probably been everywhere there now. Yeah. But I mean, it was one that was, there wasn't a lot of comedy clubs there. That They used to not have a ton there, I feel like. And then, I because I wasn't in side splitters. At first, but then, then eventually it's like I started getting in these. And then I think more of them started popping up. Those improvs. Yeah. Side splitters is great. It really is so fun. Mm -hmm. I love that club. Mm -hmm. Florida is the third largest state for population. That kind of surprised me. Yeah, I would have. I would have guessed Ohio. That's interesting. So New York, California, Texas. Yeah, I think yeah. I might have guessed New York. I didn't even think about New York State. Yeah, but when you think about it, Florida, does have a lot of big, big cities. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and some people, and now they're. So many people have moved there, I think. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's a state, <clears throat> though, that people like to hate on. They love to hate on it, but Florida is yeah. is banging. I mean, Florida is I like where Florida it's at. Too. I've always, yeah, I like Florida. I like the name. I like, 
I was <laughs> like Florida. The name. Yeah, it's just a fun name. Well, when you grow up in Alabama too, it's like that's where you always go. Like we would go to Gulf Shores, Alabama sometimes, but mainly it's Panama City Beach. I Destin. mean, that's where we're going. Destin. But Panama City Beach, mm-hmm. I mean, that's you know, that's the redneck Riviera down there. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's where it's at. And I don't know about now. I do have a couple of shows in Panama City coming up. So I hope it's still the same. But I used to love it. You go down there with your buddies, you mm-hmm. get in the nicest car any of you have, and you just ride the strip, just up and down the strip, trying to get women to look at you in this car. You're like, this ain't <laughs> mine, but I'm in it though. You That's know? Right. That's right. My, oh man, it's the best. My my dad met his his fourth wife and current wife at a hotel called the Fontaine Blue in in Panama City Beach. And mm-hmm. uh I was there. Uh, I was about 14. That's a that was great. I mean, I love mm. Panama. I got a little toe fungus down there. I stomped my toe one time when I was 18. It broke the toenail off. A little fungus crept in. It's destroyed my toenail to this day. And that was, you know, 20 years ago. It's uh, but it's I, worse than a tattoo. Yeah. I always I got a little bit of Panama City Beach with yeah. me. I got my nipple pierced one time at Panama City oh Beach. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. I was I was wild. I went down there once, buddy in college. <laughs> you know, I mean, you just took a turn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, things could have gone a completely different way for oh, me. Yeah. It is amazing how it worked Do out. Do you think you now and you 20 years ago would hang out? Not at all. Yeah. I would hate 20 <laughs> year ago, Dusty. Hmm. I mean, he was fun. He yeah, was a he, good he time. had a good time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't want nothing to do with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went once uh, in college with a buddy, and the first day on the beach, I didn't realize how burned I'm getting. <laughs> And by the day, I was so fried that the rest of the weekend, I just had to stay inside <laughs> the hotel because I was just burned so badly. We were in like in a $39 hotel that was just- A night's in or something like that. It was like just that. so yeah. bad. Uh, but the whole weekend, he just, I couldn't even leave. I was just in pain. Were you using sunscreen at all? I, no. Oh, my gosh. I, did, I didn't. I was too dumb to even do that. I'm like, nah, I'm going to get burned out here. I mean, I'm going to get, you know, tan. tan it's you know? a different. We got, we were just, when we were down in Florida recently, I got really burned. We went kayaking mm-hmm. and, uh, and I got really burned. I mean, the sun is on, like, you're, yeah, it is yeah. hot. Especially yeah. on the beach or the water. Yeah. The water, it seems to like also reflect, reflect. the sun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, feel it in your bones. And it's so bright out there. I'm like, I'm not getting anything. I'm <laughs> fine. And then you go in at the end of the day, you're like, uh oh, this is a huge. It like sets in even after uh, you get inside. Oh yeah. I'm like, and it's worse. Dudes, a bunch of dudes. You get to put yeah, aloe. they're all slapping aloe you. Aloe vera, yeah. Oh, yeah. the guys will come slap like it's funny. Yeah, you yeah. just get out of the shower. You're trying to dry off. You oh, got a yes. pat dry. Yeah, yeah. And you just see your finger, your <laughs> yeah. handprint because yeah. it's, mm, you just lay in bed and watch the local news, <laughs> <laughs> which is what I want to do anyway. <laughs> My buddy's like going out bringing home girls, and I'm like, hang on, the weather's coming on. <laughs> what I didn't have then, which I wish I had, was Zocdoc. I could have mm. used it then. Oh. I could have called from Panama City, book in person or telemedicine appointments for medical or dental care. Oh, for, for the medicine. That was seamless. Yeah. That was a good one. Yeah, that's what I do, guys. That is helpful for people that are on the go or work different. I'm, I'm playing chess. You guys are playing checkers. So work different hours like we do. I'll take over. Are you the one friend in the friend group that loves to treat yourself? Well, yes, I am. It's okay. Honestly, we all do it. I haven't read this. Like refuse to make coffee at home because that fancy coffee shop is right down the road. Oh, oh yeah. Fancy coffee mm. shop. Opt for that extra leg room seat on the plane because your vacation starts now. Right, mm. right. Well, if you treat yourself to the top options with everything in life, why settle for finding a doctor? It's your health after all. Mm-hmm. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search, compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. Go to ZocDoc.com slash Nate and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top-rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash Nate. ZocDoc.com slash Nate. Yeah, ZocDoc.com slash Nate. It's not easy. I ever talk about getting hell's itch on here? Mm, No, I don't think so. It's a clean podcast. Well, that's just what it's called. I don't know another term for it. It's called hell's (laughs) itch. And it happens after a sunburn. I've had this, I think, three times in my life. And uh, and I looked it up online, and apparently this happens to people, is you'll get burned. And then the uh, 
the chemical that causes an itch, a histamine, the histamines or whatever causes you to itch, mm -hmm. your, the skin will heal over that, trapping whatever makes you itch underneath mm. the newly healed skin. Mm -hmm. And so you just have an itch that's under your skin mm. uh, for about a day. I mean, some of the worst days of my life is when I've had this on the ground, touch. flailing around. <laughs> you lose. Your, I mean, it's like a scene out of a movie. I'm on the ground crying. My family, my family thinks I'm just crying because my my skin hurts. And you just can't get to it. But you just can't get to it because it's literally underneath the skin. So mm. you just you just want you want people to just take like and a, how old were you? I've had it when I was oh, multiple times. Yeah, a couple times. Did they say do anything for it now or what I learned after and I and I did a bunch of research on it when I was going through it. I'm like at a computer, like crying, trying to read about this. Is <laughs> you take you take uh Benadryl. Yeah, that's and what you take thinking. an antihistamine and then you just go and take a scalding hot shower and just put it on your back, which feels counterintuitive. Yourself again. Mm. Well, you just want to, yeah, you want to just fry those nerve endings yeah. so that you, you don't itch. But it feels counterintuitive. You want something cold when it when it's itching and the sunburn, but it's a hot shower does it. And I don't wish that on anybody, dude. There's videos on YouTube of like families filming somebody and they're all laughing because it looks absurd. But I feel like you like, just unlocked a new phobia for yeah, me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's the worst part of it is nobody understanding what you're going through. Yeah. I can't tell you the relief when I found that this is an actual thing mm. that people have because my brothers and sisters were like, Aaron is overreacting yeah. a little bit to this. Your it, it, almost like your body heals too fast. You That's gotta, right. That's always been my problem. Yeah, you got a quick mm. healing body. You got <laughs> but burned. But your sister loved it after y'all made fun of her about her. Well, this is a, yeah. Well, this is a real condition I have. They also yeah. call it devil's itch. Anyways. I got eaten up by a bunch of red bugs, <laughs> and uh, I was like that. But that was just an itch that would not stop. You ever been eaten up like what, that? What's a red bug? Like a uh, chiggers also is a, mm, okay. you know, you go like in the woods in Tennessee, you yeah. can get it, and they just eat you up, man. Just like a swarm of them or what? Well, you don't even know they're doing it. That guy got 44 subscribers. He uploaded it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of videos. He's going to get a lot more now, though. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, do a deep dive. This is an interesting read. Doesn't seem to happen to a lot of women. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, women are smart go. enough to wear oh, sunscreen. Suicide yeah. itch. Good a lot. Suicide yeah. itch. Yeah, I guess uh, there's a lot of They're all pretty aggressive, but they're all appropriate. She seems happy, though. Well, she's made through. She's yeah. made yeah. it through. Oh, okay. She came out the other side. Do you love life more after that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, and then I did it again, forgot to wear sunscreen. But now I'm now I, I think about it a lot. I never wear sunscreen, but we've talked about this. When I go to Florida, take my shirt off. That's the first thing I do. I love Florida. Can't wait to go back. Mm -hmm. The sun is amazing. Yeah. It is unbelievable. It is the life giver. Do mm -hmm. you ever put like suntan lotion on? No. I used to do the tan a bit a lot when I was younger. What is that? Is that even a thing anymore? I, it is. You know. Oh, to get tan. Yeah. 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 Uh, no, I don't do it. I, I try to, you know, you can put a little coconut oil on, but I, I try to not, you know, I don't like to mess around with putting a lot of stuff on my skin. But it's the sun, though, can do some. Well, you don't want to get burned. I mean, the idea being that, you know, your your skin burning is the signal that you've had too much sun. Yeah. So go inside, you know, but a lot of people believe that when you put some block on, what you're doing is you're just, you're still getting the sun, but you're just kind of killing the warning. Like you're still getting a lot of UV rays. You just the warning's gone. Yeah. Hmm. But I think there's there's pretty good evidence that it's you know like you're not getting burned. And well, you're, you're not, not getting, getting sun poisoning. You're not getting stuff. burned, but you may still be getting the U UV rays. Oh, okay. Okay. Never thought about it like that. They say that about sunglasses too, right? Yeah, I think so. Too much wearing too much sunglasses can, you know, it, yeah, it has some effect on you. Or Probably, if it's a cheap sunglass. It could hurt your eyes because it'll open your pupils, but it's still those bad yeah. rays are getting through. Mm -hmm. My wife has blue eyes, and she always says it's very hard for her in the sun with blue eyes. I have brown <clears throat> to hazel eyes, and I have no problems. I mean, I can, I'm, I'm good in the sun. Yeah, <clears throat> I, yeah, I, I don't wear. I cause it was like that. I heard you should get sunlight in your eyes when you wake up and stuff. 
that I will I'll, I'll wear sunglasses, but I'm aware of like putting them on. Like if I get up and go somewhere in the morning and it's bright, mm-hmm. I'll drive the car and I'm just like no sunglasses. Just I try to get it the most in. But then oh, in the car, that's the only time I wear them. I got a big pair of Oakleys that I just look yeah. like such a clown. Oh yeah, you know you see mm-hmm. me in those. No, <laughs> no, I just know the <laughs> I know the sunglasses. Though. Yeah. I mean, it's oh, a yeah. tough yeah. look. Dude. I got. I might have those sunglasses. There are they because there's some golf ones. Are they? The, they like go all the way yeah. across. I look like I'm trying to be yeah. an outfielder. You look like yeah. you're, you look yeah. like you're blind. I look like I'm about to roll down my window and yell some stuff out oh, of yeah. my car. Like the glasses that you could put over the glasses. Like Almost over, like that. Yeah. They're like, yeah. yeah. I have, a, John Augustine gave me a pair because he's with Oakley and they gave me some uh, and I have that I wore them on golf. They're just giant. Yeah. yeah. I look like this. I mean, yeah. this this is what I think I look like. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> It looks like that. In the 90s, but I think Oakleys they're even bigger. Will wear the ones at. I have are bigger. Yeah. There's the wrap around kind of Oakleys oh, in the yeah. 90s with the with the with the kind of oval O mm-hmm. on it. Mm-hmm. Oh man, that was you could not get a, a, a cooler glass than that. Those Oakleys. Put some croquis on it too. Yeah, yeah put, yeah, them, on the, the put them on your neck back there. But I wear those in the car. They're great driving glasses, but I look like such an idiot just walking around the store with them. Oh yeah. Or you know. <laughs> Even on my head, not wearing them. Mm-hmm. I just, I don't want to be, I don't want to be a guy that wears those, but God, they're great sunglasses. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Polarized? Oh, yeah. Polarized oh, sunglasses are yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the gooder ones are all polarized. Yeah. And they're, that's what. If you're listening, that's about. a brand. That's not Nate. <laughs> Mr. Saying the gooder. Oh, <laughs> that's oh, why oh, I buy okay. the gooder sunglasses. Oh, actually, yeah. that is yeah. what I thought you, I thought it was just bad, <laughs> bad vocabulary. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just let that slide. Yeah. 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 Well, I think it was Vince Coleman, baseball player, who lost. Everybody a, knows Vince Coleman. <laughs> well, he's back in my day, the 80s. He was a, <laughs> he he was saying. a great player, but he lost a, a fly ball to lose the game because he didn't have his sunglasses on. And then later that night, he was seen in a nightclub. Wearing sunglasses. Oh wow! Really? Yeah, it was always just a. That's so. Could funny. be one of those urban legend stories. It's not even true, but that was always the story about him. Yeah. Well, if you lose a fly ball to it, I guess you would just wear sunglasses yeah. all the time after that. You're like, that'll never happen again. Yeah. There are two Wikipedia entries of Vince Coleman: the baseball player or the train dispatcher. <laughs> <laughs> but that guy died. <laughs> In the Halifax explosion. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Due to not having his sunglasses on, he could wreck the train. (laughs) Today he is remembered as one of the, oh, he's a hero. Okay. Okay. Sorry, Vince. I thought he was like. Oh, he was, yeah. He sent a message to incoming passenger train. He really Paul revered him out there. The baseball player, he like led the league in stolen bases every year for a while. And in the playoff game, somehow the automatic tarp that comes on the field got caught in his leg. His leg got caught in it, and he got injured. Oh, my gosh. And those weigh thousands of pounds, I think. And that was it? Like, no, he recovered eventually, but he got injured somehow, like just a freak accident before the game. Mm. So, okay, That's just funny. a little Vince Coleman history That's what we remember him for, <laughs> yeah. Drop, dropping a pop fly and getting injured. Yeah. It's yeah. wild. So, Florida was discovered – by Spanish explorer Ponce de Leon. Yeah. Famous explorer. Some people think he was searching for the Fountain of Youth in Florida. Dusty, you believe in the Fountain of Youth? No. Okay. But it is, what is it, in uh, outside of Jacksonville? St. Augustine. St. Augustine, yeah. yeah. Isn't that supposed to be where it is? Uh... St. Augustine is the oldest city in America. Hmm. I don't know how they tell that. Isn't every city the same age, really? <laughs> <laughs> Deep down, yeah, right? The <laughs> land is the same age, yeah. Deep down, the bones of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a good way of putting it. Yeah. The <laughs> land is the same age, I guess, yeah. But it was uh, established, I guess, the earliest. 1565, it was founded uh. by the Spanish. Do you know what Florida means? Do you like the name? Uh, No. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, let me, no. Mm. Uh, Ponce de Leon named it. It's it means flower in Spanish. Oh, flower. Okay. Good wow. thing. Yeah. A lot of flowers there. All right. Because of the sun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess so. It's the flattest state in the country. Oh. More than Kansas? That's wild. The lowest high point is 345 feet. The lowest high point? Mm-hmm. What does that mean? 
the I mean, highest point. Yeah, the highest the highest point in Florida. Yeah, I don't know why I said the lowest high point. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it has the lowest high point of the, anywhere in the this, yes three hundred forty five right. feet. Yeah. Wow. The lowest high point in the country is in Florida. <laughs> that's what I, I should have that's, said. That's, yeah, oh, that's so right. flat like that, like there's not a lot of uh, points, but not like overall. I mean, I would think like, no hills. So you got to think all around the shoreline, obviously it's zero. Right. Because it's sea level. The highest it gets is 345 feet anywhere in the state. Above that's sea crazy. Level. That is crazy. That's like a little hill. Yeah. There's a guy who I think set a goal to, Reach the top of all fifty states, their highest point and in mm-hmm. Florida. It's just, you know, somebody's yard. <laughs> I saw a story on it. It's just a guy's front porch. Oh, really? Porch. And it was just someone's yard. I mean, it was just something as simple as that. There's no marker. There's no obvious. They some geographer found out what it was, and he just went and stood there. Wow, that's fun. That's probably. I wonder if that's like your most. That's your favorite one. That's why they did the story. Yeah. Because you know this guy's been all these great points, and then this is just all right. Stand yeah. right there. Yeah. Yeah, you go to Alaska's and it's crazy compared oh, to yeah. Florida's just, yeah, a farmland or something. That's yeah. wild. Yeah. They do have a lot of cows in Florida. A few weeks ago, we we're like, didn't think that would be a cow place, but it's one of the most. Yeah. Probably a uh, good place for butcher box. Yeah, I bet so. Get incredible <laughs> deals and premium premium cuts from butcher box. There you go. We love using ButcherBox. It is high quality meat and seafood that you can trust. It is so easy because it is delivered right to your door with free shipping. You know I'm always looking. Nope. You know I'm always making sure my food is as clean as it can get. I love it because it's 100% grass-fed, free-range, organic chicken, pork-raised, crate-free, and wild-caught seafood. ButcherBox allows me to order ahead and make quality meals. I like that I'm always prepared with meat in the freezer. I'm not home enough to run to the grocery store, so I love having what I need ready to go. The value of ButcherBox compared to the grocery (coughs) is also much better. The grocery does not offer free protein for a whole year. No. No. no, I've never seen any grocery offer that kind of deal. I never go to a grocery store. With ButcherBox, you don't have to worry about what is for dinner. ButcherBox is offering our (coughs) listeners their choice of a weeknight meal essential, three pounds of chicken thighs. Mm. And I do love chicken thighs. It's the most underrated meat of the chicken. Agreed, agreed. Two pounds of ground beef or one pound of premium steak tips for free in every order for a whole year. Plus, get 20% off your first order. Sign up today at butcherbox.com slash Nate and use code Nate to choose your free (laughs) offer and get $20 off, baby. Who, when you say Florida, yeah, what's the celebrity you think of right away? I think every other the state. Rock. <laughs> <laughs> that just saying what popped in my head. Yeah, that, when you said that, he did play football. But that's there. a valid yeah. answer. Oh, even yeah. if it's the the I, Rock, that that really had no. I don't know why. It's I a don't good, think he would be the answer. But. Yeah, that's a good question because I feel like there's the most famous celebrity from each state, but then there's the one you associate with that state. Exactly. Mm-hmm. A lot of famous people, I couldn't tell you where they're from. Like, we talked about Tom Cruise. We had to look it up. Mm-hmm. Um, Florida Georgia Line. Florida Georgia Line, you think of those guys? I also I think mean. country music, but the legendary John Anderson, who had the song Seminole Wind. <laughs> when okay, we were, yeah, that's a hot uh, song. Yeah, John that's Anderson, hot. I think, is from mm. Florida. I don't know if John uh, Anderson would think of John Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> well, John Anderson is a, a very underrated legend. Yeah. And, uh, You've One got me favorites. into him, actually. Yeah, yeah he is good. So You're always years is a hot music song, yeah. dude. Oh, years? Years yeah. is unbelievable. <clears throat> it really is. I would say I think, I know he's not from there, but I think, like, if, if you say Emmett Florida Smith. to me, I think. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Emmett Smith. <laughs> well, he is from he there. Florida. Played there, yeah. Is he from <laughs> Florida? I think he grew up there, right? I'll say Jimmy Buffett, but yeah. Oh, Jimmy oh Buffett. that's a good Yeah, one. Key West. Yeah. Makes me think of Jimmy Buffett. I would say now, he didn't wasn't born there, but Trump. Yeah, yeah, he's I got a real that. identity with it mm-hmm. now, but but I, I still think of him more as a New York guy. Right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I have a list here of some famous people from Flo Rida. <laughs> mm-hmm. He's from there. Yeah, <laughs> uh, he really went with that. He's like, I'm gonna go by Florida, and they go, We can't do that. You're out of your mind. He goes, I'll spell it the same. I'll say it with a break in the middle. <laughs> Flo Rida. He goes. He didn't even change anything. Yeah. I mean, he he tried to go. I want to be called Florida, and they go, no, nah, can't. Hmm. What if I break it up? 
<laughs> Kenny Chesney's got a real Florida vibe. Mm-hmm. No shirt, no shoes, no problem. Yep. I think he's from here, though, because of Tennessee song. And Yeah, he's from East Tennessee. He's like big Knoxville guy. Mm. You know. <clears throat> Tom Petty? Oh, Tom Petty. Yeah, Gainesville. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, and, and Leonard Skinner, Ronnie Todd, Van Zant. Yeah, but see, they, they messed it up with uh, people associated them more with Alabama, Alabama now. Yeah. But even Todd though they're Barry. not from there. Todd Berry? I didn't know. Oh, yeah. Him. He went to Florida. Yeah. It was just funny having him mm. on the same list. Yeah. Derek Trucks? Derek Trucks. There you go. Oh, they yeah. live in Florida. Yeah. Yep. Um, Pitbull, Gloria Stefan, <laughs> Wesley Snipes, Bob Ross. Um, Derrick Henry's from Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Was Miami Vice a big show for you growing up? Did you yeah, watch that? It was. I didn't watch it, but I remember it. Hulk Hogan's also from Florida. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Hulk Hogan. Yeah, he's got to be up there. Yeah. Yeah, Miami Vice was so big back in the day. And then that Phil Collins song, In the Air Tonight, they played it on that show and that oh, kind of really? made it like take off. Oh, okay. Was it like Law and Order, but it's just like drugs in Miami mm-hmm. pretty much? Mm-hmm. Okay. Don Johnson became a huge star. Yeah. All right. I'll check that out. Who else you got? Um, you, did you have Ronnie Van Zandt on the list? I did not. I had Leonard Skinner. Um, Daniel I Tosh. I think Leonard Skinner is foreign. <laughs> no, no, Led Zeppelin's foreign, <laughs> right? <laughs> Isn't Led Zeppelin from? Yeah, they're from England. Yeah. yeah Maybe yeah. I, no, I don't think Leonard Skinner yet. Led Zeppelin, never mind. <laughs> Sweet Home Alabama was playing. Like, where are these guys from? They go, these Ireland, people, they Scotland. Go, they were from here. <laughs> They're from Florida, and they wrote that song. Uh huh. Why'd they do that? Because Neil Young had a song called Alabama. Oh, and, yeah. and Southern and, and Southern uh, Man, Southern where Man. he trashed yeah, Alabama. Yeah, yeah, and then, yeah. 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 Actually, I did know that part. It actually made me love it because that song, Neil Young, don't whatever. The, Old Neil Young will Neil, remember. Yeah. Southern Man don't need him around. Actually, yeah, Southern great. Southern Man and Alabama are Look, pretty banging songs. Neil Young rules. Neil Young, yeah. But, yeah, yeah. Old Neil Young nowadays is, seems a little weak. Well, we're but, talking about him in his prime. But, in his but music. prime, uh, oh, Neil yeah. Young is like, he's crushing. Harvest, mm. uh, Harvest Moon. Down by the River, yeah. Cowgirl in the Sand. Mm-hmm. Oh, but man. I mean, I bet when that song came out, and you just imagine how excited Sweet Home Alabama when they came out and they, they know Neil Young trashed Alabama mm-hmm. and then they come out with a song Sweet Home Alabama and then they trashed it. I mean, people <laughs> <laughs> probably lost their mind. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, that, that had to be so fun. If you're just from Alabama, I mean, just <laughs> lose your mind. That's uh, probably how a lot of them discovered that Neil Young wrote a song about him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, was that even like a pop hit on the radio? I think Southern Man was a hot one. Alabama's okay. per- a little more obscure. Southern Man, don't you? Yeah. That, oh, yeah. yeah. It's not bad, Neil Young. Yeah. I've never You're even good. tried to do one, but yeah. Every week you do an impression, people say, yeah, he is good. All right. I could do a good one yeah. second of anybody. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> Last week it was the uh, pilot. Over the intercom, they oh, loved. Yeah, that was more of a character than an impression. Oh, okay. But, yeah. Needle in the damage, Don. You guys heard that song? <coughs> it's a hot song. It's about, really good. Really, it's about his friend dying. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Mm. Florida Man is uh, <laughs> it's its own thing. You guys know Florida Man? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. It started with um, 2013, and now it's just kind of become its own thing. Of just any weird thing that happens, very often it's someone in Florida that's doing it. Biting someone's face off, or? I think it's because what they were saying was that they have to report all of like all of the crimes get reported, right? So it, and it's reported as Florida man. So it's like because it's done that way, you can almost find any crime done by with the in the title would be Florida man does this this this. Mm-hmm. Agreed, it, and like you mentioned earlier, it be it's become a meme mm-hmm. almost, and Florida is the go to punchline yeah. for any joke it's right. like nickelback where yeah. it's kind of just a hack thing to make fun of yeah dusty nickelback i is love also not really but I people love, are moving to florida more than ever so I know, it's like people are going to see nickelback yeah. too yeah. yeah you know yeah so There's i mean everybody yeah everybody could yeah. be fun and make fun of it but florida's our california yeah <laughs> doesn't it feel like that <laughs> what yeah. you mean yeah it does <laughs> they're in, in the southern california <laughs> they're our california that's where we're allowed to go that's <laughs> our yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like california is you know california is california yeah. like florida's like you're like that's our california <laughs> you're like that's our it's where you go on 
vacation. Right. And California is another place, though, that gets a bad rap for, for some cities. But overall, I've been to a bunch of places in California. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, a it's beautiful great. state. Yeah. yeah. Now, what was, the story, what was the show you did, Dusty, where, where there, you talked about Florida? You remember this? One of my oh, yeah. Favorite. I did a show. Uh, it was it was for uh, the, the uh, Quibi when they were trying to launch yeah. this new thing mm-hmm. for just for phones. Mm-hmm. It was a show called Nice Ones. Uh, and hosted by Ron Funches. It was actually very fun. But yeah, yeah. they had, you know, we were all just asking. It was like a compliment roast battle, which I won, by the way. Yeah. And uh, the uh, uh, one of the questions that they let us give our, all our own answers, but one of the questions was like, they were like, say something nice about Florida. And we were all supposed to go, oh, you know, like, oh, what, what could I possibly <laughs> say about Florida? And I was like, oh, no. I, I said, I can't do that. I like Florida. <laughs> yeah. I can't say, you know, so I, you know, I said my dad met his fourth wife in Panama City Beach, you know, so it's still a joke. Which was way funnier than if yeah. you had just been quiet. Yeah. Yes. You know? And yeah. then I won. There you go. Yeah. When people say they talk about Florida, it's it's people that don't live yeah. over here. They don't live near. Here. They don't, you know, they're not. That's what I mean. That's what it means our California. Like they don't, you're just being absurd to yeah. go like. Florida is something you're like, well, you ain't ever been to Florida, dude. Mm-hmm. Like, get out of here. <laughs> right. Yeah. When pe- yeah, people trash Florida and I'm like, you have no idea what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I would move to Florida. I, I, I see, I could see a day <coughs> moving to Florida. Like, you just Taking like, land to Florida. Well, you're just like, I want just, mm-hmm. I want warm weather. I want, you know, I just want, I just, you know, I mean, that's why people move there. I, I want I want to move to that cows and oranges part of Florida because mm-hmm. you get the warm weather, but you can grow all these different crops year round. Re, like grow oranges and lemons. Oh man, that's what I'm talking. A lot of yeah. citrus. Get some mangoes, avocados. <laughs> you know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, a couple more. Disney World is the single largest single site employer in the U.S. Walt Disney World. Mm. Single site meaning like, like not Walmart's, corporation. Walmart's okay. the biggest, yeah. but as far as one location, Disney World's the biggest. And Magic Kingdom is the most visited theme park in the world. I think people would work in there would be I bet it'd be a good job. Yeah. You know. I think it's going through stuff now, but I'm saying <laughs> yeah. in general, the idea of working there, maybe it's not what it was, but it's it no was, Opry Land, it's, but it's yeah, but it's yeah, it worked out. But you know, you're like you're there's something that's kind of special about working there. I always wanted to work at Six Flags when I was growing up. There was like a thing you could go to Six Flags and like for the summer and like kind of stay. They had housing for you and you could, and I, I really wanted to do that job. That seemed like something kind of unheard of when I was growing up, like yeah. to leave your hometown and go live and work in a place. Six Flags, I think to me, always felt like the edgier. Oh, for sure. Uh, theme park. Versus like it, what? Just, I don't know, general theme parks. Like Six Flags was just, I, I, I didn't really have them. And when they were around, it's like, it's like all the roller coasters and yeah, all the, like, exactly. it's just like, uh, feels like it's not for kids. Like nowadays, I bet mm-hmm. everybody that works there vapes. Yeah. Six Flags <laughs> is like, yeah, it's more, yeah, you're going there, you, you're riding some ride. Yeah. It's just, I don't know why. <laughs> I have no reason to, yeah. And I'm just saying in general, it wasn't. I don't think. You know what? Let me grab my daughter. We're going to go to Six Flags. I always thought Six Flags was like Walmart, Disney, whatever. That's like the target. It's like Six Flags is like yeah. the cheaper, low income. Okay, that's what I thought. I yeah. thought it was like. I mean, we used to go. Yeah, I mean, if it's low income, we would go and take sandwiches and go out to the parking lot mm. midday and eat our own food. <laughs> 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 you could go. Well, you, you could get it. Get, always get a coupon for six. Yeah, flags. off a bread bag. You yeah. could get off Coke cans and bread. Yeah. We'd be showing up to Six Flags with a bag of bread and a can of Coke. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and go in for eight dollars. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sports, <clears throat> ton of professional teams in in Florida. They've all won championships. Mm. Florida Marlins have won two World Series. Orlando hasn't. Well, I didn't mean every team. I mean, I guess every sport. There's been a championship mm-hmm. that, like in baseball, the Florida Marlins have won two World Football. Series. The Miami Dolphins. Oh, when I was a they kid, won, I had oh, them. they won one championship. They had one, Miami one Dolphins like starter 72, jacket. Yeah. You Growing up, I had a Miami Dolphin starter That's jacket. Cool. Still yeah. the best look. Love yeah. it. They do have a, yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a great look. The Heat have won. Dan Marino, Marino, Ace Ventura. Speaking of Venturas, remember that guy? Yeah. Ace Ventura. Nick Ventura. Yeah. Your buddy. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. When I, in the eighties, when again, my day, the university of Miami was the college football. Team. Oh yeah. Dude. Yeah. The U. Mm. Mm-hmm. And then they became it again in early two thousands. Yep. For me as a kid, it was and they Miami. Just went away. Yeah. And then like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's really crazy. They've had a couple like flashes in the pan where you're like, is Miami back? But it's for and me then, to see Florida, Florida State, Miami kind of not be where it was and to see where they all were yeah. is pretty wild. You just, because in the time you think, well, they're going to be the greatest here. But that's like Nebraska. Like Nebraska, you think there's a time you go, well, no one's ever going to be. Nebraska is the greatest team that's ever lived. Mm-hmm. And then they, mm-hmm. they just flip. And it's like, yeah, that's pretty wild. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Florida in the 90s with Spurrier was dominant. Florida right. State with Bobby Bowden, but mm-hmm. and those coaches leave. Speaking of sport, the they they just played in Florida. The players, the players right. championship was in Florida. Who won? Scotty Sheffer. Shout out mm-hmm. to this is not. Yeah, I don't like, even know Scott. I don't know Scotty Sheffer, yeah. but I mean that dude's number one. He's and, good. Yeah, yeah. He, and it, I mean, dude, he came back. It was unreal. Like just him coming back. Like, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty special. If you watch Scotty Sheffer right now, you should you should tune in. Is Florida the best best golf state. I think so. Yeah. I think it has the most golf courses. Yeah. Yeah. Which is probably not surprising. Yeah. You fly into Fort Myers or Naples and look out mm. the window. That's all you see are golf yeah. courses, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, I think we've covered Florida very thoroughly. I, I think, think yeah. even people in Florida are like, wow, that's you everything. Out. Right. <laughs> we probably got it. We can probably revisit Florida. Yeah. We'll do a Florida part two. Yeah. At some point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. That's it. <laughs> oh, I'd love to plug some Florida dates, though. Oh, yeah. You know Look what I mean? That. I mean, you know, it's like I got stuff this weekend in, in, you know, in Lincoln, Nebraska and Iowa City, Iowa, which I'd love people to come mm-hmm. to. But those are not the Florida ones. I would love you to come to those. But, you know, I got uh, – ne- let's see where we're at. I got um, – uh, next month, I'm in, um, or, or uh, later this month, uh, the 29th, I'm in Ponta Vedra, Florida. That's outside of Jacksonville. Yeah. I think it's sold out, but mm-hmm. I wanted, I just That's wanna, where the players is at. I just want to tell people uh, that I had that's that. That's a cool sold, theater, too. that sold out show. On yeah. April 25th and 26th, I'll be in Panama City Beach. Two nights, two different clubs. One of them is sold out. The other, there's still some tickets. And then on the 27th, I'm going to be in Tampa, Florida at the Tampa Theater. Of nice. April, of yeah. April. So nice, dude. get on those. Yeah, Tampa man. Theater is great. Yeah, that's where the Elvis too. Elvis had the Florida Theater, is where Elvis because I played there, and Elvis the cops stood in the back, like waiting to see if he danced, and then they arrested him. I think that's what happened. Really? In Florida. But that was wow. it was when it was illegal to dance mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's then, so crazy that crazy. that was pretty recently. Yeah, yeah. And now it's, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he could technically still be alive, I think. Yeah, Some people old. think he is. He'd be old, but he'd be, you know. I think he'd be in his crazy. 80s. There's, yeah. a, there's a preacher on on TikTok that a lot of people will pop up and say, that's, that's Elvis, that he oh, went yeah. into witness protection, and that's him. And he does and sound like him. He's pursuing a different life in public? Yeah. 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 Interesting. Well, I don't guess he's in public. People <clears throat> just have videotaped him. Okay. Or, or recorded. I yeah. guess they're not videotaping. Is it him? Probably not. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, this weekend I'm in Tacoma, Washington at Tacoma yeah. Comedy Club. Again, there's two locations, so make sure you come to the right one. Um, your your fans got to do some work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's Sixth and Proctor. I believe is, right. is yeah, the, yeah. the location. I'll do printing out directions. This yeah. weekend. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you call ahead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I got some special guests popping on some of those shows, so yeah. come oh, check it out. Yeah. Maybe somebody at this table. Oh, maybe so. Mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm in not the Vegas. two, not the yeah. two you'd want. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna be at this show? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Just yeah. say yeah. Well, <laughs> not on oh, all maybe. Of, not on all of them. Nah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Uh, I was gonna, gonna be just, in the I'm in town somewhere. doing a corporate, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be hanging out. They were yeah. trying to sell some tickets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. I'll do. <laughs> yeah. I was wanting to get a tease, but not too much. Yeah. Yeah. But maybe it's Nate or Dusty. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Sunday, I'm in Portland at Oregon at Helium Comedy Club. Great club. And go downtown, check out what's happening down there. Yeah. Um, April 6th. You're dressed like someone that'd be walking around in there. Really? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Just said that. <laughs> There's some parades and stuff down uh-huh. there. Check out. Portland, downtown Portland. Mm-hmm. Uh, they had the food truck, but I think they got a lot of stuff. A lot of it might be dicey down there too. Okay, so 
Um, yeah, it's it's a bit sketchy in certain parts. Yeah, of Tacoma. I, uh, yeah, I'd be good. not Tacoma for Portland. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. For I sure. imagine you're, yeah, yeah, for sure. Your face, I don't know if I'd walk around downtown Portland. <laughs> <laughs> they just, I'll just get in a march and like, what's yeah. going on, guys? Yeah. <laughs> uh, April six, I'm in Miamisburg, uh, Ohio, the Plaza Theater, and then April twentieth, I'm in uh, Moberly, Missouri. Also at a theater. I can't think of the name of right. I don't get the big cities, but yeah. I get the yeah. small towns. I'm learning a lot of news. They'll be in town. Gravelburg. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's where the real people are. I don't sell out, you know. I, yeah. I go work. You will be the first one to hit all these cities on yeah. that show. <laughs> yeah. I've been everywhere, man. Yeah. yeah. Next week, this is Aaron Weber. Welcome to Aaron Land. Next week, I'm in Las Vegas, Brian. Nevada at Wise Guys Comedy Club. And then April's going to be hot. I'm going to Grand Rapids, Dr. Grins. Going to Omaha, <laughs> Funny Bone, one of the best clubs in the country. And then Atlanta, the punchline at the end of April. So come out and see me. Mm, Thank April. you. It's a hot month. Um, yeah. yeah. I'm going out to LA. So Wednesday morning, I'll be at the airport. So if you come in early, <laughs> look out. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dusty's going to be red. <laughs> I would not do that. <laughs> yeah. Dusty's going to be. I will be at the airport very early on Wednesday, and I'll be at there with nothing to do. So, yeah. Yeah. So be Save ready. <laughs> yeah. So don't, don't, you might, so if you want, if you want to put some Dusty stuff on, I'd let that plane take off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. I'll, yeah. I'm at Vegas, Boston. Uh, my April, April, May, and June is wild. So we'll be out everywhere. Come out and see us. Uh, Cause it'll be fun. Cause this is, I will, I will after this, th- I'll be done with this be funny tour uh, in July or the end of June. And uh, then I, I'm taking a, Time off. I'll be off. And I don't know. It'll be, I'll come back in 25. I just don't know if it'll be spring or be summer. I'm not sure. So uh, come out and see uh, this tour. All right. We love you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week. And we will see you next week. Bye. Nate Land is produced by Nate Land Productions and by me, Nate Bargetsy and my wife, Laura, on the Audio Boom platform. Recording and editing for the show is done by Genovations Media. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to catch us next week on the Nate Land Podcast.